Listen, I'm gonna get him a deduction that we gonna ball the table. Listen, man. Yeah. Listen, man. Yeah. 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 When it comes to the best cap, we don't need no 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 no. Not at all. We, we was there. Yeah, we seen that. Wow. Come on, man. Yeah. We was there. He was cooking with him. That's a fact. We was skipping my food days and y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill, awesome, man. Those y'all days are priceless, man. The drill. I can't lie, man. Get y'all asses in the building. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we got 16 minutes for the best cap. Yes, man. Let's yeah. Ah, my guy Tim Dollar, what's good? My guy Che in the building. Boss, what up? Dave Bleas. You already know, man. I know the drill. Get in the building. Stay in the building. 15 man. minutes. Listen, we so official. We don't need no notes, man. At all. We was there. How about that? Yeah. Who could say that? The crates. Come on now. Who could say that? Well, boy, I keep telling you, one of my favorite all-star games is on 55th Street. I, the master Rob, God bless the dead, Carlton Hines, man. Come on, talk about it. Man, they pulled the gates. There was no more gates after the game, man. Talk about they it. They pulled the gates down on 55th Come on, man. Listen, we is going up there Oof. where you can sit on the bridge and all that. In the trees and everything. We, listen, we don't need notes. Get in where you fit in there. We was there. Game hey, man. start at 7. Be there by 4. Online. Listen. And you better be lucky you know us. Get online. Hold Come on. Crate. That's right. Hold a crate. Come and on. Don't have it. Don't have it. Um, a gray white tee on because Booby Smooth is coming by to get you. Listen. He was t-shirt. I see white Wednesday. I see white Wednesday. I see white Wednesday. Booby Smooth was checking the t-shirts. We listen. We was there for it all. Shout out to Duke. A hey, game podcast saying what's up, Uncle Weiss. Oh, uh, what up, big bro? How are you? How my man hey, come on. along, man? His son, is man a, his son is a cooker. He put up a little video of his son. I told you, X is a cooker, cooker, man. Yeah. Your X son is a cooker. Stay on him. X is a cooker, man. Stay on him, bro. Uh, yeah. Quincy in the building. Q, what up? I'm a mess of the juice. Q, what up? Q, 27th Street in the building. That's right. Yeah, Q, Q family. Warriors, man. I'm from 27th Street, man. What 2 Seven Warrior? Hey, my water down there? I don't know where it's at. Don't worry about it. I don't know where it's at. Nah, I don't even know what that shit. It's cold. The coldest one is yours. Ah, oh, my bro. Thank you. Give you a fresh one. Yeah. That's for real. Yes, sir. My guy Cheese in the building. One of the best referees in New York City. Jeez. Yes, sir. My guy from Uptown 40th in the building, man. You already know. Yeah, man. In the build- building, man. The, the best kept is on his way. Listen, who that had an emergency, man. we'll get him next time. Hey, man, y'all know yeah, how that go. Man. The show must go on. We like we like puff man. We won't stop, baby. You know how we give it up in Harlem, man. Shoulder work. Take trying that, to get take the that, bag, man. That. Listen, we don't need no notes. Shout out to the Lakers for winning the winning the last three games without LeBron, hey, man. Hey, hold on. Uh, oh, Shout we got we, Lakers, man. we got ten in the building. We hold on. We gonna get y'all some music. We got ten in the building early. We gonna, gonna get y'all man. some music. Hey, Black, what up, Black? Yeah, y'all already know my got Harlem light in the building. And my man Chuck Black. Nah, that ain't black. Nah, that ain't Chuck Black. That's black. Let me on the block. Oh, the dirty Love you. Yes, sir. Shout out to everybody early in the building. Thank my you. God, Cheese. My God, Black, aka A Game Podcast. What's happening, Uncle Weiss? Before we get the best kept secret on here, right? Yeah, buddy. Let's talk a little bit about Ben Simmons. Shout out to Ben Simmons. They said he dropped 20 the other night. No, he the, the last two nights. He's on. He's back. All right. Hold, this is what I said. I need to see 10 games. Hey, man. If Ben gave us 16 and more because he averaged 18. I need 15 and 8. I mean, he in the building, man. He can guard anybody. He got confidence. He got. He, he run with two Hall of Famers, Carrie Irving Listen. and um, Kevin Durant, man. He, he's in a great situation. Ben they Simmons. With, uh, Listen. Him comfortable. Okay, Brooklyn is in the building, y'all. Yes, sir. They listen, y'all they re- getting ready. They respect what Ben brings to the table. They ain't worried about Ben talking about. See, that's the problem. I ain't like that. Philly used Ben as an escape goat while they lost. Or Talk ben to ain't, him. It's the truth. Talk ben to ain't him. shoot. Ben ain't do this. I've been ben saying ain't that. do that. That's super whack to put every blame, everything on Ben Simmons because he ain't shoot listen. the ball. He ain't shoot the ball all year. Listen, Uncle White. All, to all ball, forget that. Hey. He ain't shoot the ball all year. Now, hold on. Man, he will get the championship right. to blame it on Ben. Now, let me say Stop this. It. That game that they, that game where they crucified Ben for not shooting the layup, they forget how many turnovers 
Joel and B had in that game. And in the fourth quarter, how terrible he was. I'm a doubt. Hold on, hold on, Uncle Weiss. They forget that though. They ain't forget. They right? want to forget. Now hold on. Let's let's be realistic. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving needs Ben Simmons to win. Of let's course. let's not forget that. Ben's the X factor. Uh oh, hold, slow down. Look, look, look. What you I'm with old boy. I need 25 games from him. <laughs> That's right. Hold on. We ain't gonna Big shot to here. my guy Zach. Hold on. That Shot Town's finest. What up, Shot Town? Um, off the game, off the glass uh podcast. I need to go follow my brother. Let me explain something to y'all. One thing me and Uncle White's do, we give props when it's due. All day long. His content is super dope. He's very intelligent and he played the game and he know the game. And let me tell y'all something. He don't back down from nobody and he be having some great points. Big shout out to my guy Zach, man. Off the glass podcast. Off the Go ahead, glass Ice. Podcast, man. Yeah. He went too hard on Ben, man. I like Ben Simmons, man. I say it all the time. If you productive, do what you good at. Yes, Cazzo, Joe Fuego you in know, the building. Guys, play to, your, play, play to your strong points, not to your weak points. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. he said, did y'all figure out the top 10 for the Patrick Ewing? Listen. Listen, man. <laughs> I was about to use Patrick Ewing as an example. How Patrick, I'm a diehard Nick fan, but we all remember when we were in Indiana and Patrick, instead of dunking it, he did the jelly roll. <laughs> like Pat Jelly. Yeah, the jelly was nasty. was nasty. We lost because of that. But they cruise to find this young guy here, man. Like, get, move on. The, the Knicks moved on after Patrick Ewing. We still talk about it, but they ain't making it a um, topic of conversation. No okay, Patrick 27 in the building. I got my guy Mo is in the building. Two yes, Sev Warriors. Listen, man. Hey, Uncle Weiss, they, yeah. they, they, they rock with us and they support us, oh, man. Oh, man, two Hold Sev on. Warriors, man. Let me shout out my guy in the back. I ain't going to say his name because, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what's going shout on out the there. Hill. But listen, shout without him, Squilla, a lot man. of this don't go on, man. Him and my guy Kel. So let me explain that to y'all once again. They do all technical difficulties. Me and Uncle White don't know nothing but put the headphones on and go. That's all. That's it. That's it. Baby. Okay, Greg in the building, man. Bitch, like I said, man. Hey. Shout to Squilla Hill. Ten more minutes. We in the building. Uncle White, give us one of your famous or one of your the most that you remember Rucker moments. If you remember one. Cause I I I got one. I mean, I got so many, man. I see my man Tip Dog go back. What was he calling the white boy? There ain't no racist name. Who? Soul Man. Who? Remember Soul Man? Yeah, that was my man. Um, I forgot. Pete, my man Pete. Right, right. Soul Man was nice. Tip, him and Tip had a nice little battle up there one day. Okay. Was real, yeah. real good. Okay. You know, if y'all know about Tip Dog the legend, he'll be up here soon. Yeah, Tip Dog and Mike Boogie, the yeah, brothers. Man. They'll be up here. Yeah. Tip Dog. Yeah. Y'all don't even know. Oh, you said the Soul Man. Yeah, yeah. They don't know nothing yeah, about him that. Soul Man. Him and my man Pete. Invitation Pete. Listen. Shout out to my man Pete, man. Listen, Pete family, let me, man. Nah, let me explain one of my Harlem, one of my man. great moments at Rucker. I never forget this day. We on the line, right? Mm -hmm. We don't even know who playing. Mm -hmm. It was a nothing to do on the block. We said we going to fifty fifth. It's J. Ah, my guy Naji. Big shout to Naji. Carl Malone. Listen, my guy's a real Carl Malone head, and he said Carl Malone is the greatest power for all time, and he has the credentials to back it up. Big shout out to Najee. Levels is in the building. Grizzy, <laughs> love you to death. Najee, you smoking by yourself. Pass listen. that weed to other people. You're high now as listen, hell, boy. Uncle You're high as hell. Look, yeah. we on the line. Look, we get on the line. Line crowded. Mm -hmm. We get on the line. We just waiting. Who we see running across the street out the train station? Ed Booger Smith. Oh, it's going. I love Booger. Oh, it's going down. We, what, you talk about that day when he threw the bounce, full court bounce, bounce pass? Hey, come on. You was, huh? hey, say it again. Full court bounce pass. Was in the building that night, Witherspoon. Come on now, for, for, for the Liberty. Yeah, uh, 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 Teresa Witherspoon. Come on, man. Night. Full court bounce pass. Listen, we was there, man. Shout out to N.A. Rock Nostra. Come on, they was rocking that summer. Come man. on, listen. Boogie and Mal Mal abuser. Boy. Listen, we on the line. They boy, and you every, having to look? They boy, every criminal in the world from oh Brooklyn, every stuck up Chancellor, listen, Hustler, they had them all with them up in that. Come on, man. That listen. Summer. And we was rocking some man. of my favorite moments, Ooh. man. We was, was with rocking. that kid at Booger Smith, man. Brooklyn was in the yeah. building, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uncle Wife, remember, we was there when Skip got the name. He was to come up there with the guy from Cadoza, the white guy, yeah. Remember, he left his team because he remember they was arguing on the sign. I need to shine, baby. You're holding me back. He, let me look, loose. The next game, he came and played with somebody else, oh, baby. Let me go and did the move. Huh? And what's your man on the mic? Oh, baby. Skip to my loot, and he was born. We was there. Listen, 
We was there. Oh, we was yeah. Hey, 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 hold on. That AI Marbury game, we was there too. Somebody threw a chin in the air and they Let caused a the stampede. Give a little credit to one of somebody who don't they go ahead, never talk about my guy, man. Go ahead. The future. Ooh. Shout out to my man in the Hold future. On. And shout out to him. His son is playing in college doing yeah, good. But go ahead, Uncle Weiss. But shout out to his dad, man. Don't know. I, I need you up here, future. Facts. Future used to be on 55th doing their thing. Shout out to the That's future Malloy. Shout That's out to fact. him. That's a fact. Real talk. He'll be getting Sean no Boss, love. what up? Hey, man, listen. Future used to be up there. Put his hand on his hip. Do his little, uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, let's get it, baby. Hold on. All ball. I got a Marbury in the shy pro wham story for y'all. Ooh, hey. Hey, hold on. We gonna get that. Hold up, man. Yes, look, Wait my guy minute, Zach. Man. Remember, he from my town. He I said he got. That, Zach. Hey, hey, Zach. We gonna have to break. Listen, we gonna bring you up on the screen. Once uh, we done with Kareem, we want to hear that story. Big yeah. shout out, Antoinette. That's family. Miss Gittins. I tell you, I was Skrilla Hill in the building, y'all. I was the world. I was at the wheelchair classic right at Columbia University, right? Go ahead. Oh my god. Go ahead. I seen um. All they was talking about was that was that um, Ross Strickland played Ed Davner. All they was talking about was Ed Davner because he was going to Kentucky. Jelani, what up, Jelani? You know who stole that show? Ross Strickland, man. Boogie Rod. Boogie Come on, Rod man. shook him at half. Boogie court, Rod. Broke him down, man. Shout out to Ross Strickland. I remember that as a kid. I was like, who's this guy? Here? Hold on. Boogie Rod was tough. Yes. But hold on, Uncle Weiss. Remember when the bone collector came to the park for the first time? Bone collector. Listen. We was there. I think he from Houston, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. The ball collector. Listen, he came in the park, baggy shorts, do rag, the uh 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 the the the, the thing around the do rag with the band aid on his eye. They didn't have no team for him. The guys on 55th from Polo Grounds had a team. They put him on there. Remember, he ain't no nobody. He did one move and it was a rap. Ball collector. Hey, we was there for it all, bro. Listen. I seen some games, man. Well, hold on, Uncle Weiss. We was there for the guy that's coming up in five minutes. Yes, we was. Watched them for years. The spin Watched move. Them in high school. Come on, the Watched spin them move. in college. The stutter. You know who he is. The best. Pass the ball yeah. and throw the hands in the air. Like, come on, man. We I was there, bro. It, that's when that's that's when hard. That's when the ruck. We had all the loose small mean guards. We got hit. Bro, Tinsley. He shook Tinsley crazy. That's a fact, Cheese. Yeah. Bonk, listen. Yeah, I mean, and listen, don't get no better than 55th in the days, man. Hey, man. And before I even went commercial, when the when the blocks had teams, come on, 40th, 55th, um, 12th Street, East no Side, fit. downtown. Yeah. Uh huh. That's when the Hold on. Had it. What's my when... guy from No Fit went to St. John's? Um, the, the, the big tall kid. No, not tall. He was the point Dave guard. Kane. Dave big Kane. shout out Dave Kane. Dave come on, Kane. man. Stop it. You know, we're going to get the whole block. Yeah. Shout out to Jim Ice and the Jim boys Ice down and there. Dave Kane in them. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, we was yeah. there. I love, I love when um prime time when they had my man golf at the dead Pookie Wilson killing those niggas all day Come long. On, bro. Come on, so they said Pookie Wilson scored a hundred yeah. points. You know he's a cooker, rooker, rupper. God bless him. Hold on, where y'all in the building points, for homicide? Oh, a killer, man. We wasn't in the building for homicide and Ron Artest, but let me say something about homicide. Well, oh boy, go ahead. Stop. We used to go to Ron Artest be there two hours listen, before the game starts. Hold on. It. Two so warriors. warrior be at 55th, 12 before By himself on the court practice. Warming up. But hold on. I'm going to give a shout out to Homicide. For, for maybe a two, three years span, Homicide was killing him. He was on fire. Was he? And then, remember, they, then they started the tournament where he was playing one-on-one -on -one for that money. Yeah. Uncle White's nobody could beat him. He, he took it? Yeah. Well, he was killing him. Hold on. And big shout out to him. You know, he got the, he, he got the sports thing overseas. Yeah, shout like out to Homicide. Like Stephen A over there. Oh, we going to get him, though. Oh, yeah. He going to get him. Hold on, St. Rains versus Rice games. Yeah. Was that Fordham? Yeah, we, hey, Grizzly, we was there for that. You know that. You know that. Hold on, I went to Kennedy High, and Reed was a legend. Yes, sir, Greg, yes. See? Yeah, look, he said, but you got to mention uh, 130, 139th Street, Rucker. Oh, come on, man. My, listen, man, I seen my man... Y'all don't even know about Dow Mac. I see my man D Mac do the, do the JR Ryder dunk before JR Ryder did it on TV behind his leg on the baseline and banged it. I mean, I seen Dominic Wilkins. I mean, I seen so many. My man Tip was the all-time leading scorer on 39th Street, too. Nice. Shout yes. out to my man Tip Dog, man. Stop playing dog as a bucket maker, but man. But hold on. Let's 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 show some real love. Rest in peace. Y'all know him as Ali Mo. We know him as the black, the black widow. widow man. Six nine, six eight. Handle like a Can god. You handle it, the black. Widow. And got the spank shoot your eyes out with the mid range. 
good Come person. On. Come on. He'll share and teach anybody that wanted to listen. He'll Come teach on. You. Rock shout out to underscore Rockstar Mel. Hey man. Shout out to We Ali got a Mo new addition sure. to the family. Rockstar shout Mel is family. He support. He on the lives. Sharing. He in the comments. I rocks with that boy. Hold on, Ice. I get, and he got a lot of knowledge and he be throwing some names out there. Shout out to Rockstar Mel. That's man. a fact. But I gotta give a shout out to my other man. He yeah. don't know more. He don't know more, boy. Shout out to my boy Stick Ice, man. Oh, McNess. I remember, remember Stick Ice. Stick Ice? Yeah. yeah. Shout you out crazy? to my boy Stick Ice. I didn't know Stick him, but I remember him. Yeah. Shout out oh. to my boy Stick Ice. Oh, he Ice, said, remember man. McNasty. Remember McNasty? Oh, yeah, Conrad, man. Come on, Conrad McNasty. Yeah. yeah. We remember all that. Doodle -doo Mac yeah. was good. Yeah, we remember Shout all that. Man, Vaughn Drew, man. Oh, man. Play. Yes, sir. Hold on. Who was one of my good players? You know, no. As long as I. No, no, no. I ain't gonna lie. Look, uh, the dancing doogies with my Ooh. favorite ball players. You know, I got, I got suspect Ooh. like the master Robney. I mean, I got my own special guys, man. That I really love, man. Ooh. Yeah, the dancing doogies, man. I love them. Oh, Why yo, we, we gonna have a good time tonight. Yeah, hey, we got one more minute on the countdown. Oh, we gonna have a good listen. Give me no notes. You all know about the great ones. Tell all the other guys out there. Listen, old boy and Uncle White. We don't need no notes. David Kane, yes, sir. Downtown 12th Street, no fear. That's right. Facts. No fear. They came. Facts. Them all. Shout out to all the boys. Hey, man, big shout out to Truck, Dito. Jesse Sapp, Coy, the, the youngest, Coy Fisher, and all. Like, we, listen, man, Diggy George, Ab Dad. Come on, man. We seen them all. Homo. Listen, we, we seen Timber when he was the Prince of the Moon. Shout out to my man, Hot Jumping Tone. I'm like in the backcourt, him and Jim. Shout out to my Ooh. man, Hot Jumping Tone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And that, listen. Professionalism at its finest. Professionalism at its finest. He's in the building. It's time to rock and roll, baby. He's in the building. Best kept secret. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My brother, good, my baby? brother. Yes. Hold on, man. We we got to give you some music first. We got to give you some music first. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 We got a legend in the building. Hold on, listen, bro. We we want to uh show you what appreciate what you're doing for us. Um, exactly. We watched you whole time, brother. That's a fact. You was one of the reasons we stood on the lines and had some crates in our hands, sitting there parking, get ready to watch our play. Bro. So, all jokes aside from football, yes, we really appreciate. Oh, you uh, pulling up. Hey, man. Hey, man. When you say that, I get a notice. That's what we were. Well, That's what we are. We fear Yeah, y'all. Nah, we, yeah. we was a fan, my brother. On his That's what I did this for. You know, when, when they say that, you know, I did this, but I always, on my post, I always say it, you know what I'm saying, where y'all made me who I am today, you know, with the with the people that that stood on those lines, the people that cheered, those people that, you know, uh, not saying a fan of mine would support. That's what we were. That's what we are. We fear you Everybody's on all his page. A fan of yours. Listen, brother, nah, we can't see you perform. It's a show. Thanks. We can't even see you put a show yeah, on for us. humble brother. Thanks. I respect Thanks. that. But, yeah, but hold you. on. Thank you. Mr. Kareem Reed, the best kept secret. Before we start, let me just do a little intro for you. We got the St. Ray's alumni. He played at Arkansas, one of the best assist men in his freshman year. McDonald's All-American. You led the Razorbacks to the Sweet 16, all-conference freshman. As a sophomore, led Arkansas to the NIT Final Four. And you never averaged less than five or six your whole career. Arkansas, you're the all-time leading assist, top three in steals, numerous record championships, one of the best guards to come out of New York City. We got the best kept in the building. I'm calling him Mr. Reed. What's happening, my brother? That's why they interviewed you for that show. We don't need notes, man. Right. We was there for it all, right. bro. Exactly. There you go, man. This, this is, That's right. This is, you know, when, when I do these things, uh, you know, when it started, when a lot of people were starting to do these podcasts with uh, the COVID year and stuff like that, and, you know, people continued it. But I tell people, every interview, you get a exclusive story from me that's never heard before. So I like that. You yes. know, we, I know y'all bring one of those out of me. 
Yes, you already yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know we want to hear one of them stories. Well, 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 listen, man, um, you know, before we get started, hey. just go ahead. I'm hey, sorry. Before we before we get started, man, I want to, you know, I want a, a big rest in peace to uh, Miss Wells, man, Sham God's mom, man. Oh, rest in oh, peace. Oh, man. Know, rest in rest peace, peace man. to Miss Wells, man. To, to you Ms. Wells, say, man. Oh. Yeah, God, yeah, deep condolences. Yeah, I deep yeah, condolences, yeah. Sam. You and your yeah, family. Rest in peace to that, that that beautiful yeah, woman. Yes, sir. Rest in peace, Miss Wells. She passed away, you know, two days ago, man. She was a mother, a mother figure to everybody in the community and stuff like that. So I want to say yes. rest in peace, man. You know, Sham, hold your head. We're here for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Always man. rest in peace. Yeah, rest in uh, peace, Miss Wells. Most man. Condolences to Miss Sam God Wells. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Miss Wells, Mister Reed. Um, for some people that don't know, you know, we're gonna get right into it. At what age did you start playing basketball? And also, at what age did you know, like, now nah, I got some going here. Like, I, I really could make some happen. I'm nice. Well, it, it's crazy when, you know, I want to give, you know, when I was growing up, 10, 11 years old, I had moved. We had moved, like I said. It's, it's, a, it's a, a mystery or it's a, a trivia question. So let's rewind this. Like, I'm, I was born in Harlem Hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm from, originally from St. Nick Project. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I moved to the I moved to the Bronx at I guess the age of five. Uh, so I have both ties or whatever. But I'm from two twelve Saint Nick Saint Nick Project, and uh, okay. moved to the Bronx. The Real Park Towers, and then I moved to of course up the street to Burnside Avenue. So you know, big up the Burnside Avenue or whatever the dark side. Uh, about nine or ten, started playing basketball in the park or whatever. You know, with if you know the tradition, you know the history of the Bronx. My park, Cedar Park, was, you know, Cold Crush Brothers. The, you know where hip hop was. Rappers. You know the rappers, rappers delight. Right. And all that. So we didn't really have time to play basketball. It was more of uh, the basketball courts was the DJ booths and the, right, the block right. parties and, and all yeah, that. So right. my court was side by side. Our full court was side by side. If you ever know it, so it's like you had to make a whole circle to do a full court. <laughs> Right. So start playing basketball there, but I was just we were really playing in my neighborhood and stuff like that. And big shout out to my brother Warren Miles. He took me down to Young Life one day. You know, I was wow. a and, Yes, I, he was. Uh, he had, they was playing for Thurm already. Him and Billy and all those guys. The older guys were already playing with Young Life. But I never, you know, I just River Park Towers, go to State Park, and my brother's like, "Yo, come on, I'm gonna go. Come with me to Two Fifth one day to get some sneakers." I'm like, "All right." Got the two fifth, got some sneakers. He's like, yo, come with me to my practice. <laughs> and I looked up, I'm in Salem Church. And that day, Sermon was practicing. Young Life was practicing. They only had nine. So my they're like, yo, my brother can play. And that's his history. So, wow. Years old, uh, you know, and I, like I said, with guys, I know you already mentioned it, guys like that with Marquis and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and Javal and guys mm -hmm. like that. I played with Lou Dingo, you know what I'm saying? So we were growing up, we were rivalry. They were the Mustangs and we were Young Life. Right. The Young Life and played Small Fry. If anybody know about Small Fry? Yeah, go to Puerto Rico played, and all that. Yeah, Puerto Rico. I played Small Fry with them and, you know, that was when it was Young Life, when it was uh, T.S. Bucks. T.S. Bucks, uh, Tommy uh, T.S. Bucks. Tommy T.S. Bucks, uh, The Devils, uh, Sun Devils. Sun Devils, so Lamar, that was right. my, You know, that was me, my introduction back into Harlem or whatever, playing at Young Life. So I wanted to play at Young Life for two, three years or whatever, and we did a lot of good things. And then uh, the Riverside opportunity came. You know, that was the big thing. I tell people now with all these small teams, big shout-outs and God bless, you know, Mr. Lloyd and, uh, you know, the new Darmado at, at Gaucho. You know, when you play with these little teams or these teams that were, you know, affiliated, the guys were scared of us. So they wound up, you know, getting us on their team, you know, flash right. some Riverside jackets, some money, and, and fans. Right. Come on over here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, come on over here, buddy. Right. You, know, right. And, right. And, you know, right after the game, we had people on the Riverside team. And Mr. Lowe's like, man, buddy, you on? Ain't you tired of <laughs> playing like that? You know, come. Come get this, come get that. And, you know, I wound up making my way over there. So about, nice. here, about 10 years old, it, the, the process started or whatever. Okay. With, to answer that question, you know, and right before that, just playing with some of these, ten, some of them guys. When we talk about me, Stephon Marbury, Ray for right. Austin, you know, right. Kojo, you know, guys like that with Bernard Barrows, you know, Bernard, you know, all those guys, you know, growing up. And it was like it was a melting pot. All of us was the same age or a year apart. <laughs> right, right. Was, you got a battle. Had a wicked, 
You got a wicked shot of, you know, you got, you're selling crack, you got a wicked shot right, 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 right. What are you going to do? That was right. it. And, you know, I remember playing Young World. Like, I remember you mentioned it last night. Yeah, that's my block. I remember y'all came I never, to Ed Cole and all of y'all. Yeah, yeah. We bought, it was the All-Star game. Never played it. Yeah, the All-Star game. game. Remember that game? It was the All-Star game. And we, we played against Ed Cole. And I was like, oh, my God. It was just, it was just basketball at that time. Was, yes, was man. It's different. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Man. No nights off, no days. Or wherever you go, you're going to get it. Like I said, I walk around New York now. The kids don't even play in a park. That's you know with Not us. Not at all. Yeah. With us, man. You we played in the park. You know, big shout out to all. Yes, the yes. And stuff I, like that, but we didn't have no trainers growing up. It was. I tell them all the time, man. I said, yo, those guys in my era. I said, those guys were special. I said, why? I said, man, because I said, wasn't there all these AAU teams? Wasn't none of this watered down mm-hmm. basketball? I said, even the college recruits was just coming to the park looking for the players. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They're fine to play in the park, man. Them kids in the park mm-hmm. playing up in the hall, man. But, kids but, balling. Let me just real quick. What you just said, like you said, in that in that era, remember how it started, no matter what you had on, you could have on Timberlands, church shoes. You go from shooting around, starting 21, two on two. Next thing you know, you playing the full court with whatever you got on. And we did that hey, all day. Hey, hey, man, if somebody on here, they know, man, my nickname growing up was Ashcan. <laughs> of course, I, never had, was that? I never had lotion. I never. I mean, I just came out like I. I right. Yeah, ready to go. Ready to go. Like ready to go. Lotion. Right. Lotion and all that. We was ready to go. We wasn't. You know, it's funny when these kids. These kids they got on knee sleeves, arm sleeves, head for bands, what? Like, Everything. Oh, yeah. I, t- I told. I was a couple of years ago. I was training this kid, and he had. I walked by him. I said, like, "You all right? You know, Johnny, you all right?" He's like, "Yeah, coach, I'm ready to go." He's like what? He's like, you sure? I'm like, you sure? He kept asking. I said, you sure? You ready to go? He said, why? I said, man, you got on everything. You got on everything but a, a football helmet. <laughs> you know, only, only, you know, big shout outs to, uh, you know, to, to best out in, in, in those crews like that or same right. thing that used to, that used to switch sneakers at halftime or whatever. These kids now, they miss a shot. They switch the sneakers. You know, and they're like, <laughs> my basketball shoes, you know. My yeah. own purpose shoes, my basketball shoes, I, my school I, shoes. I, I, I try that's to tell fact. you, man. That's I try to tell man. you. Listen, Yo, I keep it so stupid with my set out here. Listen, man. Yeah. I said, you don't need those sneakers. They ain't going to help your game. Yeah. They ain't going to help your game. Man. Sneakers don't make you better. Big, you know how to make Big, big shout outs. Big shout outs to Tron Walker, Antoine Walker. Dunk, oh, man, man. man. Antoine you know, Walker in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Antoine Walker in the building. We're going, we're going, we're going, you know how they was talking about breaking the record on verses. We might break a record tonight, man. Hey, man. Hey, that's what you're here for. Listen, man. It's all going to break. I didn't catch food. Did food come on today? No, nah, nah, nah. he's busy. He said he's going to be scheduled. He said he's going to have to be scheduled. But yo, listen. He always to busy, the gangster. Yo, yeah, the gangster. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But listen, keep it on no. We used to go watch food and play with Garvis and So Alley Mo up, up in uh, Richmond High School. Yeah. Once again, man, old boy with Uncle Weiss. We got Kareem Reed, the best kept secret in the building. Now, Reed, um, when you got to St. Ray's, how was that transition? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't shout. Shout out Talentine. Say niggas a Talentine. I was in Talentine first. Oh, you didn't say, they okay. said you had to wear the Talentine clothes. Yeah, don't, My don't, 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 I'm sorry. Because yes, I, cause we get everybody talking about it. So what I'm doing, like I said, I'm Shows trying to, to, everybody. Got to break got everything you. now so we won't forget anything. And the people got you. Job. All right, yeah, got so you. Let's, Shout out to Talentine. All right, yeah, let's go. That's his first home. First home, we with Kojo on them. We were 35 and 1. We won a championship. Okay. Uh, two weeks later, the school closed. Yeah, I heard. Wow. Uh, and everybody just scattered. You know, everybody went to Rice. Some people went to public school or Hollows. And I was the only one that was handpicked to go to St. Ray's. Wow. I didn't think St. Ray's, I didn't think St. Ray's was messing with me or whatever. You know, it was it was a machine at St. Ray's. I was, right. you know, I was. A, a city kid, a street kid coming from Burnside Avenue. I, just I seen you up at same race play right a couple yeah, times, man. I didn't want him. I didn't want him to, you know. Probably, I think I wasn't a part of it. And I guess, you know, that summer still going, get ready, go to same race didn't fit in really. You know right. what I'm saying? That wasn't. Those guys were, you know, different. Right. You we know, know. I didn't say though. So it was more of same race with the, you know, some Diddy kids. Not saying some Diddy kids, but that school was tradition wise. Big shout out to Terrence Wrencher, Orlando Antigua, Bill nice. Richardson, all those guys. Yes, sir. So yes, like, sir. It was already set that those guys were going to play. So I was like, you know what? 
this is not going to 10th grade. I don't want to, you know, I don't think I want to go there. I spent right. one day in, 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 Jeff, in, in Kennedy High School and hey, one left. day in Wharton, in Wharton High School. <laughs> and I never, and I never seen a classroom. I stayed in the, in the, in the, in the, in the lunchroom gambling the whole two days. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't make it there. I couldn't make it there. Anyway, but I couldn't make it there. It was still like you was on the block. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, right. I was on the block. I said, nah, this, yeah, is, exactly. this wasn't going to happen. It's too much fun. Right, right, yeah, right. Transition to the same ways were kind of, kind of difficult until maybe like a month into it. Uh, right, right. Starting pregame, you know, the summer was off and on, but I was still, I was, st I was starting to come into my own that summer. Okay. And going to St. Reds, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to play JV, you know, stuff like that. I wanted to play varsity. I was like, you know, so two weeks into the school year, uh, if you know anything about St. Raymond, uh, big shout out to Gary DeCesar, he had every college coach. At that time, every college coach was in Rice and St. Ray. Right. You know, and, right. and we coming from uh, workouts, preseason workouts, and I'm seeing Jim Behan, Tim <laughs> Don Penders. Wow. Crazy. I'm seeing Big John Thompson. I'm seeing the Big East. Wow. When the Big East Crazy. was the Big East, every, every Big East was in the school. I love the Big East school. to this day. You know, watching us just open gym. Right. And one day after practice, Coach DeCesar called me and Eric Harris in the office and was like, you know, what's going on? What y'all want to do? And I was like, you know, um, Coach, man, you look stacked in Boston. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather <laughs> just play JV. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And he's like, what you want to play JV in average 30? You already got a JV championship. Well, I mean, what what's left for you to do? He's like, why don't you just, you know, play Boston? He said, these coaches are asking about you already. Mm. When he said that, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm up there. And, and, and work hard and. Yeah, and sure. let the ball, you know, let the let the let the ball fall in whatever place it's gonna fall in. And uh two games into the season, I'm as a sophomore, I'm starting point guard for, for the number four oh. team in the country. There you Crazy. go. Legendary. That was it. Legendary. Those looking back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once and again, people man, don't know like, and once again, it's like I said, this is you know, uh everybody tune in. Uh this is something I never gave somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like I wound up one of the guys sitting, you know, sitting in front of that was one of the senior guards, Trevor Redfern. He was starting. Okay. Him and Danny Basil was starting and uh, wound up messing up. You know, that's why I tell these kids, you never know who's watching, you know, be on your job or whatever. I was, you know, we going, we're on our way to Texas and coach at the airport and we like, every, he's like, yo, is everybody here? And I'm like, nah, Trevor and Danny's not here. He's like, they're not going on the trip. They got in trouble. Wow. You, 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 you must start point guard right now. Wow. wow. And just me being the cause, you know, if him probably not messing up off the court, probably would have never got me on the court that early. Right. Right. So that's right. a Jew. That's a Jew that I dropped here that probably nobody, you know, nobody. I never really told anybody. Everybody just thought it was easy coming to St. Ray. They, they, they just thought nah, they gave you the job. Nah. He, nah they gave, he messed nah, the job up for you. And, yeah, and during the season, he gave it back to them because it was senior guards. You know what I'm saying? Sure. He gave it back to them. We wanted to plan that right. We planned to plan at Gastro Gym. And the seniors, and we started to lose the rights in them. And at halftime, he came in there and was like, you know what, let me get prepared for next year. And now we went on a run. We went on, we went on an 18-game run. Damn. But, be, but nice. before that, I'm, I'm, like I said, I played against Jason Kidd my freshman, my sophomore year. He was number one team in the country. I don't know what's going on. I'm in the hotel getting ready for the game. And uh, George Michael's sports machine come on, and it's Jason Kidd throwing a goddamn 94-foot bounce pad. Oh, man. And they like, yo, this, that's who we playing against tonight. I'm like, what? <laughs> Coach, like, you got him. I'm like, what? Like, number one point guard in the nation. Like, right, this wasn't, right. This was wow. in the city and all that where we were fighting. This was hand the down country. Jason Kidd. Jason right. Kidd. The, the, yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah, so it's the it's, you know, California that, kid. Yeah, so when it, had a great South, had a great sophomore year. We lost in the quarterfinal game and from that day on, the day we lost in the, in the, in the quarterfinal game, everybody was crying or whatever. And as a sophomore, I said, yo, we're going to win this shit next year. Right. Not just the city. We're going to win the city and state. And that's what we did my junior year, won the city and state. Facts. So, Facts. You know, me being a leader, you know, at the end of the game, we lost. And everybody, you know, the seniors were going off to go to school. I rallied the troops around and my coach and was like, yo, we're going to win this. Because yes, I knew that yes, was going to make – I had my – and I tell my kids today, like, my individual goals became team goals. Because for me to reach my goals, I need dumb. I need to do yes. that. I need to do dumb. So that's what I preach, you know, 
my yes. individual, my team goal, my individual goal become a team goal. That's yeah, hey, hey, Mr. Weed, I think that's I like the way the kids now did your shit, and I like that. What, I like the way to me, that was underrated in your game. Your leadership was so crazy. Like you said, the way you gather the troops and um bring them all together, and it's one common goal, and it's to get that W. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to get that W. Have they been on the same page? Everybody, when you look at it, we, we had, you know, a two-year run. My junior year, uh, my junior year, we had seven go D1. My senior year, we had eight go D1 on, on, on one team. Crazy. This ain't no AAU team. It's a high school team. It's a high school team. Right, That's right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, big time. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you don't get that no more. You get those at those prep schools and stuff like that. You don't get those in the New York City. You'll get two, three, uh -huh. maybe right. two, three. It's always one. Right now, right. you know what I'm saying? Where right. it was, there ain't no one person was ruling the city. You had everybody over there. You had Zig and mm -hmm. Melvin McKee. Big shout out to Melvin McKee. You know what I'm saying? Me yes, and Ian was in the, in the trenches together. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, was, right. You know, everybody, you know, people thought about, you know, us being on the court. And I always, I walked around with that. I tell my kids that, like, it's okay. You know, I walked around with a chip on my shoulder. I didn't have problems with nobody. Right. But if you if you see me play, you thought I did. Right, I should. You I did. That's but why we stay for the. You see me at, at and then you be like, damn, this nigga was just going crazy. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you thought me and Shan was enemies and public enemy number one. Right, but we just on that court more. in between the lines. You know, after we get up yes, the court, sir. people didn't know we go back to our block and we chilling out together. <laughs> right, I don't right. yeah. know. Yeah. Laughing, yeah. joking, but that that was my. That was me. That wasn't dumb. You know, that was me setting that that's what I, I needed to do to succeed right, you know right. and i tell people that now with people like man i didn't know you know people that don't know me or get to know me for the first time like man you was a you know you was a tough son of a gun off the you know on the court or whatever stuff like that and you go up the court you just this lovable <laughs> person and i'm right, like yeah right, but that right. was my i had to put on that I had, put on that I had to put on that was my egg and i tell kids to yes. play. i try to tell my kids that like to play with that egg i'm know? sure a lot of players back in the days, I told even with Steve Bird, I said, Yo, I've never seen him smile. A lot of players mm -hmm. never did, you know why? They on the court mm -hmm. taking care of their business. We'll smell that day. Yeah, but right now, yeah. let's go this way. Mm -hmm. If we ain't friends, we out here to play this, win this mm -hmm. game. Let's go. Yes, that's a like winning that, mentality. Man. Yeah, that's funny. Me and Rafer, you know, we talk about it all the time. Me and Rafer be together five minutes before the game. And as soon as that ball <laughs> go up and it be like, yo, why you hit me like that? Why you push me like that? <laughs> Shut up, yo. Shut up. Right, right, right. Like, exactly. hey, yo, you can't show up. Yo. Okay. Yeah, we're just chilling, right, bro. Good. Like, yeah. But, yeah. I, you know, I talk about us, you know, literally, you know, not literally, but, you know, just a, a speech. I'd rather punch you before you punch me. You know <laughs> what I'm course. saying? See how you right. respond. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. Stuff like that. Not literally, but let's check your heart first. Yes. You know yes. 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 Let's see if you really want it like I wanted. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Man, listen, y'all. We got the legend in the I, building, I man. Hold on, Uncle Weiss. We got the, you know, got the legend in the building, man. The best kept secret, Kareem Reed. Go ahead, Uncle Weiss. That's what I asked you. What was one of your favorite matchups in high school and at the Rucker? Because I'm gonna wait for later to ask for college. Now, what was your, mm. was all of another the eight chain one of your high school matchups? Now you we were in high school together. They, they we were in high school together, right? They like You're those guys. So, you know, in high school, it was really just more, it was, like I said, it was everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. I never had no, because you go to you go to public school, you had Steph, you had you had Kerry Thompson. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you yes. Shout out to Kerry, shout out to Kerry Goat, man. You go to Catholic school, you got, you know, Felipe, Steph, I mean, Felipe, Sham, Reggie Freeman, mm -hmm. you know, there was so many wars, you know, stuff like that. So any day, it'd be a Tuesday at Hayes, at four thirty, and we got you know it's a kid, a guy, hey, or we play right. the Riverside together, or Gaucho. So, you know, but always, you know, like I tell people in the stories, Steph made me look at the game another bit as business. Marbury. You know, big Marbury. Marbury. He, he showed me the he showed me that it was business at a young age. You know, Steph was right. eleven years old, being tabbed. You know what he had to go through. Shoot, you know what I'm saying. So I give yeah. it up to that man. You know. At 11 years old, being tabbed, 11, 11 year old, the best 11 year old. Yeah, that's or crazy. Had four brothers be, before him and not make it, and everything was put on him. Right. So, all the pressure you know, on him. You know, all the pressures on him. So I, I salute Stephon Marbury. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I that, yes. You know, where, you know, so that was one of, of course, that was a big battle because we played together and he left business wise. And, right, you know, right. 
I stayed, but still learned the business. We had 13, he knew the business already. And him leaving <laughs> opened the door for me. You know what I'm saying? Cause we wouldn't have, if we would have played together, like I said, once again, is you got to go somewhere where you're going to play at. So it was after, right, after right. him leaving, leaving, you know, Javal, Javal Naysmith, same thing. At St. Ray's, it was like he come to St. Ray's, but you're not going to play in front of Kareem Reed. So he had to go another route. You know what I'm saying? Right, Something like that. Right. So that's what, that's what, and it's nothing wrong with it. It's not you copping out. It's like me going to University of Arkansas. It was just me picking the right place. And it's what these kids don't pick today. These kids Go to don't school, pick the, the right wrong school. Yeah. When they got yeah. four years of college, you don't want to see three of them sitting on the bench. You're sitting on the bench. And, you know, now they're making it where it's a transfer portal and stuff like that. But back in the day, you know, you're you sitting there for three years. You stuck. Right. You right. can't stuck. leave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or they get you there. Yeah, I tell people, yeah, they wind and dine you on a visit and all that. Once you sign on the dotted line, you different, not, different ball game. It's different, it's different. I tell, I remember Coach said, "Man, <laughs> take your ass, excuse me, take your ass. You ain't gonna do it my way. Take your ass home." <laughs> crazy, crazy. Let me ask you a question, uh, Kareem Reed, in the building. How big was it? How big was it for you, uh, to make McDonald's all American? <laughs> It was everything to me, you know. That was my, that was my, when I got a taste of it my 10th grade summer in the ABCD game as a sophomore in the ABCD camp in Michigan, and as a sophomore leading that camp, wasn't, that was an add-on. Big shout to Sonny Vaccaro. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's a, a, a figure, another father figure in my life, yes. you know. Okay. We're talking about shout, shout out to Sonny, man. Uh, if y'all don't know Sonny, that's the, the shoe guru for whoever's watching in. These are the ones that got Michael Jordan, the LeBron James, their Nike nice. deal. Yes, so right. he was looking out, you know, he was good, cool with my high school coach. And as a sophomore, I probably was one of the five sophomores in that camp. You know, underclassmen, it was me, Felipe, Stefan as a freshman, and probably two other kids, three other kids from out west. Everybody else was juniors going to seniors. Sophomores wasn't allowed in that camp. And wound up making my name that summer in that camp. And, you know, opening my eyes that sophomore year, like I said, we played against, my sophomore year played against, uh, like I said, we top five in the country. So we played against the number one team in the country, that which was, which was Dunbar at that time, Baltimore Dunbar. Mm-hmm. They keep a team. That. Yeah, who Mike they have Lloyd, on it? Mike Lloyd, Keith Booth, Dante wow. Bright, you know, guys like that. Uh, we played against the Simeon Brothers, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. Right. Uh, wow. Played against Simon Grass, Rasheed Wallace and them. Like, I played Crazy. against that sophomore year, opened my nose like like as a new girl. You know, right, right, like, right. I didn't get to see all this talent. You know what I'm saying? As a sophomore, going to St. Ray's, traveling like that, going to NBA games. Crazy. Going to watch Kenny Anderson, that which was my idol, with, you know. Going to watch Shout him. out to Kenny Yates. Uh, coming back that summer, like I said, after we lost and stuff like that. And I set goals. Won in the city and state championship. I wanted two. You know, I wanted to win it back to back. I wanted to win uh, Golden Hoops. Uh, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be a McDonald's All-American. Right. So my junior year, having my, having my son was probably the best thing, you know, of my life, you know, having a son and really that. focusing in. I had my right. son junior year, you know, story. I had January, well, February, you know, my son is born February, February 20th. February 20th, one of the biggest games in New York City, wow. 1994, St. Ray's against uh, <laughs> Rice at Iona wow. College. So I had my son at 5.50 in the morning, leaving the hospital, having my son, uh, Seven o'clock, taking my SAT, and Crazy. three o'clock, and three o'clock playing against Rice High School at, at Iona Crazy. College because it, that game couldn't fit in our high school, my high school, his high school. Right, right. right. If, you look at that that. Game, if you look at that game, I had two points the first half. Uh, that was my thousand point. I scored my thousand point earlier that week, but it was the the, the game Rice right. and St. Ray so right out Iona College. Scored two points. They had me frustrated and I had it like I said I didn't get no sleep or nothing uh me and Gary DeCesar you know once again dropping knowledge me and Gary DeCesar had it all out I quit at halftime uh. I took my lock my took my uniform over he made me take my uniform off called me all kind of uh excuse me pussies and all that right. take my uniform out you tell me you want to be a McDonald's All-American 
this and that. You you ain't nothing. You a burger, you Burger King. Like he right. got <laughs> uniform off and all that. Mickey uh, gave you. Threw everybody out the locker room. Me and him is in the locker room. And he told me, I'm gonna make you after this game right here, everybody in the world gonna know you. And I'm still tears in my eyes. If you know me, when I get mad, I cry. I'm crying like F you, F you, I quit or whatever, stuff like that. He told me, put his goddamn uniform on. I'm talking about they <laughs> ringing the they ringing the buzzer mm-hmm. right downstairs. Like they weren't gonna start the game. I come up downstairs like it's a Rocky movie. It's like the music is too late to <laughs> And he told me, he told before we went out, he said, uh, we're gonna win this game and Kareem Reed gonna lead us to win this game. And if you look at that half, I had 37 in the second half. Wow. Come on, man. That's three now. Crazy. We, look, we lost. We lost. But, that but you balled tempo. out. That, that sent the tempo for the rest of the year. Crazy. You know, city and state championship. Uh, went on that summer, my junior year. And like I said, I never had no di- down period because I went from having a son <laughs> to, to the playoffs, to being the top five in the country, team right. in the country, traveling. I didn't get to spend no time with my son, my new son, right. or whatever, stuff like that. So that that after the season, I started trying to catch up on school work, worry about other stuff, and start, start trying to spend time with my son. And went to ABCD again the next year in Jersey, and wound up being I went from probably the top player in the New York City area to maybe number hundred, number one hundred and one. I went wow. at camp like top five in New York. Right. And came out that camp that week because my head wasn't into it. I wasn't in the gym. Right. Came out that camp 101. And if you know the camp after that is five star. So I didn't go to five star. And it, and it look, it, it's funny because it fucked me in the all star, in the McDonald's All American game. If you look right. at the McDonald's All American game, I should have been MVP. But I wasn't MVP because God bless God. The guy at five star was held a grudge against me from two years camp. before that. I didn't go to the camp. Homestead wow. was the biggest camp. I didn't go to camp because trying to get my game together. I, right. I missed camp. I missed camp, right? But put this on my son. After I missed camp and AU started, it's history. I went on. I got 17 MVPs that summer. Come on, man. Come 17. On, man. And, I, and I capped the summer off by beating Steph, Sham, Felipe, that team, Crazy. Golden Hoops. Who, who you had on your squad? Oh, who I you had, had on your squad when you beat them? Me, uh, Rich Parker, uh, Donald for you. Shout out to Rich Parker, man. You go on it. Go on, go. To, when you get off, go yeah, tell yeah. anybody. No, no, no. I know, no, I know, but I, I want hoop. you to tell these people. When wait, they're yeah, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I rip Shan. I rip Steph and everything. <laughs> you know, we were, you know, we go to the ball at You know, we don't play. You know, we cast everything up. That's right. We're going to call that up. Who you get it to? In front of 15,000, rip Steph on Marbury in front of 15,000. Right, right, right. right. As yeah, me, Melvin McKee, Steve Dowell. Right. Yeah, your, your crew, your crew. Yeah. <laughs> Steve yeah. McDowell, I think I'll come on yeah. show it. Um, yeah. yeah, Woods, so with the Woods. Them, Woods. Woods on there, Woods. No, they Woods said my man Woods used to summer. jump out the gym, man. Yeah, Zig, yeah, he, he, talking hella shit. That's he right. He follows the round that summer. That's how I met Zig. And, uh, we planned each one teach one. That's how I really met Zig. And each right. one teach one on uh what's that 37 on 37 in the school or whatever that's where each yeah. one teach one's at and right. I we playing against Carlos Ron Carlos and the shout out to you know yes. Ron Carlos and things like that so just coming back and that momentum carried me the rest of the year into the, the McDonald game us you know once again is leading the country going to these ABCD camps going to camps with all of them guys. You know, big shout out to AI that year also. He was, you know, yes, he got sir. arrested that year. So, you know, it would have been hard. You know, it would have been hard. Shout right. out to him. But I, I feel like. Yeah, I shout out to Al Max. So, you know he's a monster. Yeah, he was Javon, a monster. Um, like Javal Nesbitt told the um, incident they had with AI. He said, they said when they went yeah. to go play AI, AI, what he said about you told he, Melvin. He, he, said, he said, he walked, he said, AI, he said, AI was walking on the court. He said, Javal said it was him in X. They walking past AI. He said, AI bumped him and said, Fuck y'all, New York. And Javel said he told them F y'all too, and said they went at it on the court. Yeah, <laughs> but it's funny because that story right there, we didn't go. I didn't go because I was that. I didn't go that year. Oh, okay, damn. Year. And when I, they came back, we was in the gym. And Javel and them came. Javel and them came and tell us that story. Yo, this nigga, this right. nigga I was telling him, fuck <laughs> this nigga, whatever. This man. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. yeah. 
niggas can't like and niggas couldn't like niggas never like AI. He came, they came I love him, gym. man. They came in the gym like, yo, we love y'all, but that motherfucker AI is scary. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like bro. And you know, that was yeah. young boys, you know, that was that nigga nice, you know, huh? It was that they went against New York after they see AI, niggas like, nah, I ain't got better than AI. I'm right. telling you, man, yo, I go, Gary, Gary Springer told the story. That's why I respect small guards. He said, man, we played against Isaiah Thomas. He said, man, every time I tried to block his shot, Isaiah put his arm in my chest and laid me. Talk about Zeke, yeah. That's what I said. That's, that's God, like how Jack Vaughn was. The, that Jack Vaughn? Jack yeah. Vaughn was a beast. Jack Vaughn shot, yeah. That's what I said, I'm playing Jason Kidd. I'm playing Jack Vaughn. I'm playing uh oh. Randy Livingston, like this yeah. uh, man. So Randy Livingston, I, he down, he with the LSU down there from New Orleans, the LSU, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot, he had Newman, Newman High School now, yeah. But that kid, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Turn, lot, fan, you turn to real quick. Arkansas so long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I took yeah, them yeah, tonight. They better cover. They better cover. They gonna cover. I took them tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. I, they I'm gonna come. They gonna come. I was. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I didn't think about that. I just made it. Yeah. I got. I got a BD story. Yeah. I got a. Yeah. My boy said my Baron Davis. Hey, hold oh, on. Oh, Baron Davis hey, is let, killer, man. Let, you let, let, us, him? let us hear it. Give us the BD story. Oh, BD, man. But I mean, if y'all know, when I was the last, I was the last cut of New Orleans Hornets. That year. Okay. And uh BD took that's how me and BD got so cool, man. He took me on this wing, man. Big shout out to Baron Davis, man. Shout like, out to Baron. Uh was down there. Like I said, I was I didn't play no summer league, no nothing by the great. I'm on my block and my agent called. He sent he sent the wool. I thought the police was after me. He sent like a <laughs> a black car, armor car to the <laughs> Atlantic. I ain't we didn't know who it was. My right. block thought it was the police. He sent a telegram for me when I got invited to New Orleans training camp. Wow. Nice. And I went to Long Island and locked myself in the gym for a whole month. Big shout out to Jerry Powell, one of the big time, big time trainers. I yes. probably was the first one he ever trained. Okay. Locked myself nice. in a hot box in, hot box in Long Island. He had me ready. Went down to New Orleans and, and was doing what I had to do or whatever. I should have made that team. But Baron pulled up one day. I was, you know, Baron seeing me at the practice. I'm going back to the hotel. He's fucking with me, all that or whatever. So... One day he pulled the van over, the school, like the team van. Right. And was like, yo, we left the in there. I'm like, he like, yeah. He's like, yo, get out, come ride with me to practice. We stopped and got the, you know, the vets donuts or whatever. So that was my job, getting the vets Christmas <laughs> donuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These is rookie stories, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. So every morning I go get some, you know, so Baron was like, he gave me the keys to his car, like, yo, young fella, huh? He took me on this wing, man. He took me on this yeah. wing, man. I ain't just, like I ain't spent a dime. I ain't spent none of my money. <laughs> right. When I'm right. there, he looked out for me, showed me, you know, how to, you know, how to be an NBA player. Yes. And yeah, professional. we just kept that, but being professional, like I said, with you know, appearances, what you need to do, my dress code, everything changed. Right. You know, right. Him showing me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I told you one barren story was the first week we got paid, right? Uh <laughs> It was envelopes. I'm talking about Baron Price. I'm like, everybody getting envelopes. Everybody getting envelopes. Right. I had one envelope. Everybody got stand mail or whatever. I ain't had none of that, right? I had about three pair of sneakers in my locker, my uniforms. Baron Locker, he's taking up three lockers. I was sitting next to him. <laughs> he's, like, Yo, Reen, let me, he's like, Yo, Reen, let me see your check. I'm like, oh, man. Fuck it with me, right? I gave him my check. He did like a little kid, man. It's just like I say, he threw my check in the air and his check in the air, right? My check went like this the whole long time, right? His check hit the floor. His, his check hit the floor. He said, that's, that's money when it hit the floor. Right. I said, what? Wow. We, opened it up. we ain't going to say the figure, but mine wasn't nowhere near. Mine right, was, right. Mine was, five, mine was a little five digits. You know what I'm saying? A little nice five digit check. <laughs> right. that, that, so you know what his was. Exactly. We never rebound, say that. He had a rebound check. He had an NBA check or whatever. Crazy. It was like my, his mods was a paper plane and his was made out of rock. <laughs> but big shout out to Baron, man. Yes, big sir. Big shout out to Baron. Yeah, Baron I like Davis, Baron Davis, man. Yes, sir. Baron, big man. I love him, man. I love him. Good guy, yeah. man. Does for community so much, man. Just, you know, he's one of the, you know, he's one of my top five guards if, if it wasn't for injuries, man. Yeah. Right. Be Davis is special. Facts. He was tough. I ain't gonna lie. Tough. Yeah. And he had an attitude too. Yeah, hey man, he had yeah, the right. He had the right mindset. Yeah, the right he played with the attitude. Mindset. You might know he looked like he reminded me of Kanye. This crazy man. He had the mm-hmm. right mindset. He was tough. He was strong. Yeah, yeah. B Diddy was tough. Yeah. B Diddy was tough. He don't seem like he's spending his money neither. 
You seem like he buy no, buy no extra. Hey, man, gotta be smart yeah. with that paper, man. No, he, he do, but he, you know, he's he's behind Lion Gates and all that. Like, he be yeah, yeah. And all that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He do a lot different. of good work his with money. It. Different, his yeah. Family, his money That's different. That's a fact. He did he money different? Yeah. Yeah. When he want to put hey, it on, hey, he, hey. when he want to put it on, he puts it on. Yeah, right, sir, right. Sir, That's quick, right. If you could, quick, quick, Kareem Reed. Um, how how tough was how tough was college and making that transition, playing in August? So how important? Was college for you? As far as the environment, just to experience everything. College is probably kind of easy for me growing up in New York City, man. Facts. Okay. And I was one of the guys that didn't change my game. And that's what, if you followed me and you're like, yeah, I did, you know, I never changed my game. So I could no, play the same game fact. I had in 50, I could play in 55th Monday and Tuesday I go to Pro Am and play the same way. Facts. You know what Facts. I'm saying? And then go play four months, four months later on ESPN Super Tuesday and play the same way. That's so that's fact. where I was talking about picking a school or whatever. So actually, just the distance, you know, when we say Arkansas, here from New York City going to Midwest. Arkansas, Fayetteville, right. Fayetteville, Arkansas. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. right. when they talk about schools, I had, you know, I had Texas, I had California, two, Cal I had both California schools. Jason Kidd was my host. I had UNLV. You know what I'm saying? But Arkansas yeah. just, you know, watching them fit my style. I had to go right. somewhere. I couldn't be. As for five nine, five ten, or whatever size they put me at, right? Kind of, I wasn't a big, I wasn't a biggie. I could have played, but I wasn't a biggie's point guard. I needed to run up down forty right, minutes to hell. Right. Yeah. That's what I needed. You know what right. I'm saying? That's so, right. Yeah, somebody, somebody asked me what other schools you had. Those are my. I had Alabama, Arkansas, Texas, Cal, Irvine, University of Cal, Providence okay. came in late. You know, so all, I had you know all great schools. St. John's came in late or whatever. Big shout out to St. John's, but I wasn't going to go there anyway. You know what I'm <laughs> right, saying? Right, right, right. That's a fact. Just period, because that was... Just delegate. It ain't fit your style. Yeah. Right. It wasn't for you. Yeah, I, I, it, it, wasn't for, it wasn't for me. It, it could have been for me, but living 15 minutes from the Bronx. Oh, it never worked. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't dangerous. for me. Yeah. It would have never or, worked. Or, or going to yeah. Connecticut or Syracuse or Providence. Too close. You Too know, close. I, probably would, I probably wouldn't have been here today because I'd have been hugging the block. Yeah, we was trying outside. to make it. You know, trying to make it back to Providence in two hours. Like, right. You know, so I, it was more self-discipline for me. Let me get somewhere where I know it ain't no hop skip. Let me just get up. I yeah. can just get up Stay and go. focused. Yes, sir. Stay yes, sir. Focused. That's so a fact. So, you know, the, the transition was, it was tough my first year because I had to sit out. So that's why I tell these kids, take take education important. Because it was right. natural. Okay. I, had to sit out, I had to sit out my freshman year. You know, on top of them going back to the national championship and Every day knowing that I could have had a national championship or I supposed to have been a national and we would have won it. Right. Coach every day telling me, you know what I'm saying? So just imagine me leaving after 55th championship, leaving two days later to go to Arkansas and me getting to Arkansas and them telling me I'm academic, academically unethical. Right. Yeah. And me sticking that out because at that time I could have came home and just chilled and opened up my recruiting again. Yeah, but that was the maturity. You seen the big picture. Self-discipline self and stuff yes, like sir. that. But it hurt every day watching those guys uh, play. That's why I you played play. harder when you got out there. You got the I opportunity. Couldn't practice. You know, now you can practice. I couldn't even practice. Right, right, right. So right. It was just me after the practice getting with the trainers. Big shout out to the trainers, the Arkansas trainers, you know what I'm saying? And and assistant coaches and stuff like that. You still get me in the gym. But, you know, just imagine coming in at 2.30 and getting the workout in and then the team coming in and I had to get off the court. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was crazy. Right. But you stuck it, you stuck it out. You yeah, graduated from it. You, you, got yeah, yeah, you got your degree from it, don't you? Yeah, you got your degree, You got your degree, right? Went back, yeah, went back uh, yeah. four or five years ago and, and got my degree. Congratulations. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Just be proud yeah, of yourself. Once again, yeah, once again, just, you know, for kids and, and young men, you know, that degree, it's very important because when I got, I did everything that I needed to do basketball wise and stuff like that. Then when I'm trying to transition to life after basketball, right? I don't have no degree. Right. Wow. Right. Or get a important. job. I don't have no degree. Right. Yes. So it's like, wow, you know, with all the cities and countries you visit everywhere you played at and the money you made and now trying to give back to your community or, or come home and get a coaching job and, just thinking your accolades is gonna get you yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the on the bench, and, hey, and hey, it didn't. You need paper. Hey, hey, you need hey, paperwork. Hey, Reed, real quick, 
You know how these lives do. It's going to cut off in 30-something seconds. If we could, can we come right back on it before you get off? Can we talk about what you're doing now with your school yes. and, some, and yes. some great Rucker moments? We appreciate it because we yeah. know you'd be very I'm busy here. here. I'm here. I'm here. All right, got I'm you. I'm going to get ready to get a haircut and all that, but I'm here. Let's, all let's right, do so it. it's going to cut off in 20 seconds. I'm going to come right back on and pull you right back on. Okay. Oh, man, appreciate it, man. All right, right, right. Weiss, man, yes. we got the best kept. We coming, coming right, right back. back on. Right back on. Station appreciate break. you, my brother. We coming right back on. Uh, hey, man, listen, bro. We don't need no notes. That's about to be our new slogan. Hashtag, we don't need no notes. What's happening? Not you didn't get the um thing with the on YouTube earlier. It did, but now it's not on IG. It crosses. Oh my god! Ain't no big deal. Don't worry about that. Nah, everybody came in. You came back? No, 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 not yet. I just, I just kind of came all out. Give him a minute. Oh, Let me get some candies yeah, over right there. there. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let me get some candies over there, buddy, please. Come on, candy. Wave to people, just as wave. Are you ready to wave me? No, 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 no. They know what up. They go like that. Man, come on, man. We ain't playing no game. It's legendary right here, bro. Get the best kept for an hour. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right back at yeah, it. Right back at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, let's jump right into it, man. Them Rucker, them, listen. Let's just New York City basketball outside in that era. You how, made that joke. Listen, man. man, how crazy was that? Man, it was crazy, man. You know, big shout out, man. Starting out with, you know, Mousy Dream Team. Big shout out to Mousy, right. man. Like love Mousy. You know, love when, Mousy, man. When when you talk about Kareem Reed and, and the best kept secret and whatever the other names that I gained over the years, man, it, it, it all started with, with, with Mousy, man. With Mousy. Me and Mousy, it's funny. Uh, seeing Mousy one day, my first basketball game, I'm walking past on 45th Street and right. seeing Mike Boogie, Tip Dog, uh, all those guys, Chick All Stars, seeing all those guys and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's like, man, I want to play this. You know, I was a <laughs> guy. I want to play this fence, people on the fence and everything or whatever. So, uh, me playing at Summer Citywide on 128th and 2nd Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. You know, I was coming back off a trip, you know, I was playing against Sham Guard that morning. And me and Sham having a classic game at 14 years old, having a classic game. And uh, after the game, uh, me and Sham dap it up or whatever. Mouse was like, yo, you know, I'm, you know, whatever, introduce yourself or whatever to me or whatever. And Sham, like, that's my guy, or whatever, I know him or whatever. And he's like, yo, what you get ready to do? I'm like, I'm ready to go play the game at Marble Hill. And I was like, yo, I'm going to take you up there. <laughs> and I'm on a lap line with my team. And I was going to come up to me and, and tell me to get off the, get off the court. Hey. Kareem Reed. Mousy get on the, Mousy get on the thing. <laughs> and, uh, Mousy get on the court. Hold on for a minute, live. Gotcha. Coach, what's going on, coach? Kareem Reed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coach, I'm, a, I'm on a line right now. I'm in your family house. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you a call back, coach. Okay, all right. All right. Yes. <laughs> Big shout out to D. Wittenberg. D. Wittenberg. Oh, uh, shout out, coach D. Wittenberg, man. Yes, sir. Dre, Dre, Dre Barrett on here. So yeah. So uh, yeah. Oh, shout out, shout out yes. to Jay Barrett. You know so that. giving a chance, you know, Mousy and, and Leonard and guys like that gave young guys like me. Chance yes. to play on 155th. Always. Yes, sir. So Mousy yes, introduced sir. me to 155th. 
uh, brought me out when I was a sophomore in high school. And Mousy's been, you know, if you know it, Mousy's been like my father for, since that day. You I know, love Mousy. Mousy's a good me, person. You know, and everybody says, when I tell, talk about Fat Joe, it's it's Mousy first because my loyalty, oh, right. my loyalty was to Mousy. You yes, know, my sir. loyalty to Mousy. One year I left Mousy to play, of course, with, you know, a, 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 a teammate of mine, Tone Rosa, Sugar Hill. Right. I got to Tone or whatever. Yeah, I love, love Tone. They locked up again, but good shot, big shot of the tone. But Mousy, it didn't matter if it was goddamn June first or December, <laughs> first, or December first. Right. I can call call Mousy and get something from him. Yeah, that's day. right. That's what to counts. Day. So I that's already why, know. You know. Shout to Mousy, so, man. Good God. So if you know me, I always Try stuck. State. I always stuck when they like, oh, you didn't play. I only played with Mousy and then Fat Joe. I didn't really play yeah. with you know, everybody. Or in other tournaments, I stayed to. My guys have a lawyer. Every year somebody else was switching. I never really switched, you know, yeah. until that time I almost switched it with Jay Z. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah, listen. yeah, we ain't gonna even talk about that. That's, you know, everybody wanna know what was in that bag. We're gonna keep that. Right, you right. The, you, right, gotta get, right. you gotta get the right. book. You gotta get the right. book. You gotta get the well, book. All right, but really, let me ask you something. Was the bag crazy though? The bag was super crazy. <laughs> listen, uh, how, life how, Life, life changing bad. Yo, listen, how bad? Life changing bad. Yeah, no, like see, this was what they had a lot for. Hey, hey, wait. How bad did Ho want that win over Fat Joe? <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, they 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 so cool now. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they go funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it was war, man. It was war. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we were there God, for them games. You get, you get God bless. You get, you get God bless. Strict. You know that. Oh, rest in peace, Strict. Yeah, man. The you franchise. Know, the franchise yeah, was great for bad. That really hurt, you know, that, that was like equally, equally me leaving mouth for right. Fat Joe, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and then to put Strick in the song, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 or Strick, <laughs> because Strick, come on, we used to stay up in the house, so, you know, rest in peace Strick. Strick, you know, was great for the game, but when Strick great left us, game. when Strick left us, and, you know, I'm at that time, I'm, 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 Heavily in rotation with Reg Freeman, and right. everybody calling me like, "Yo, hold, 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 hold!" hold. I'm hearing this overseas. Right, I'm hearing right. this overseas. Like, yo, what's your, what's your, uh, you know, what's your, your, uh, your, your bank wire number and all that. <laughs> this, this Send that money over. This, this crazy. This, Come on, this, yeah. this, this was in April. Niggas was getting the bag in April. Come on. 55th man. start June. Crazy. I'm locking my players up early. Y'all ain't got to worry about it yeah, now. Huh? That money, so that's what I'm saying. So they, I, I ducked the bag. I ducked the bag for two months. Right. Because at this time, I'm get, I'm making money. I'm, 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 I'm focused on trying to win a European championship. Right. I was right. like, yeah, I, I, I discuss that when I get home. Now I get on my block and <laughs> everybody living. Everybody living. They pulling up. <laughs> They ain't dashing them, pulling up. You know, you know, the, you know the Arnold, Real Mac, and Sean Arnold. Right, I love, I love those guys. Yeah, I love those guys. Great guys. They rock, they rock nation. They rock. This is before Rock Nation. This was the Rock Nation first. They team rock. They team yeah, rock. Yeah, team rock. Yeah, they team rock. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting envelopes. I'm getting gear, and then God bless the dead, Baba Law. Uh huh. Uh, I love Baba Law. Went to school and, and, with me. Good guy. And my silent partner, you know, Kareem Biggs, was like, yo, right, right. I couldn't turn it down. I'm listening to the album. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm listening. I'm everything listening just to, right. I'm listening to everything. Everything right. It's the atmosphere, ducking, baby. I'm, duck, I'm ducking Joe. I'm ducking Joe. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want to leave 40 right, seconds. Right, right. I ain't yeah, going up the block with nothing. I ain't going up the block. And I know Joe wasn't driving through or nothing like that. I'm coming down the avenue, but I ain't gonna go down the block. He's like, I'm yeah, ducking, yeah. Joe. Come here. They like, yo, he might have, I think I see the car. <laughs> Six comes on the Ave, he ain't come to the block. <laughs> right, right. I'm hearing all this. So now I'm playing the US, I'm playing the USBL at, at Brooklyn. Right. I'm playing against Lenny Cook and them or whatever. Yes, sir. So your man got his, his bag. Lenny came, Lenny got his bag like two days before that. <laughs> Crazy. And I'm like, so Joe was like, all right. So Mouse come to the game. Mouse like, yo, Joe been looking for you. You been stuck me for four days, man. Because as soon as I came home, I, I moved to Pennsylvania to go play in the USPL. So I ain't right. even stay on the block. You know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. We playing in Brooklyn that night at LIU. And Mouse show up to the game. 
<laughs> I'm trying to duck out the whole game. I'm like, damn, I'm got, which which back way I'm gonna get out of this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Mouse mm-hmm. came in the locker room like, yo, Joe, <laughs> said, in the locker room. Joe said he want to see you tonight. I'm like, tonight? When I go back. I'm like, all right. I, I'm like, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I got to go kill my family or whatever. <laughs> I go back to my block. There go the bag. Wow. That was the, That's that was right. The Rockefeller, that was the Rockefeller bag. Oh. I, enjoy, I enjoyed my night that night. Right. <laughs> the next day, I had a meeting with the with the Godfather. Right. <laughs> when I had a, no. had a book, I had a, I had a, I had a meeting. It was like, it was like the, the Godfather one. Oh. Right, right, right. So, he took me, so what are you going to do? In, and took me in gym. I went to Jimmy. Jimmy's Bronx Cafe, you already know. Bed to make you feel good. Hold on. Can't hear you. Wow. It took me in the back. You didn't make me feel good. I'm sorry, you can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we got you. You make me feel good. Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Uh-huh. They took me in the took me in the back. Got that goddamn uh octopus salad and all that. <laughs> and uh and, and said, yo, what you gonna do? I said, yo, Joe, it was a bag. I took a bag. He said, you took a bag? I said, yo, Joe, I was forced into a bag. I just happened to be here. I walking up the stairs and it was a bag for me with my name on it. <laughs> I don't know how much was in it, but me and my, me and the fellas went out last night, tricks unknown. I'm already paid. He like, I'm going to make it. I'm a, I don't know what it is, Reem. Make it right. I'm going to make it right. <laughs> and you, you terror squad forever. He said, I can't offer you what was in that bag. <laughs> We're right. not. But, but you got a friendship, you got love, loyalty me for forever. More important. Yes, sir. And I'm going to be here, Reem. He said, you, you, remember, I'm going to be here in December. I'm going to be here in April. Right. When, 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 right. when, when the when boys stop bouncing. When, when Lil' Kareem needs something. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? You can just right. send him. So that, that for life. Yes, sir. And then my block was like, yo, here come the Bronx. My Bronx guys were like, yo. Nick, you, you, just won, you just won two with him. Why you going? Right. Yeah, what you doing? You said the bag. You're the only nigga that stuck when they bring in the NBA niggas. You know come what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, that. That's a fact. You, you, yeah, why we why you leaving? I can see everybody right. else leaving. Right. He brings right. 20 NBA niggas. You still starting. You still start. That's, That's right. So, That's my yeah. guy right here. I don't care who I bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Loyalty yeah. to you. Yeah. That's true. So that's, I just ain't got it on my, you know, I ain't just got it on my arm for nothing. I tatted that on the reason. I'm walking yes, out sir. the terrace yes, for train for a reason. Yes, you know sir. So that, it was always loyalty with him. I just spoke to him the other day. Congratulations on the book of Jose. You know nice. I mean? Yes, sir. Shout out to Fat guys, Joe. Always. It was, it was guys like that, you know what I'm saying, where... My guy A Mass was like that, you know. Guys, you know A Mass, Soundview guy, whatever, man. Yes, sir. Big shout out to him. He, shout out to A Mass. Yeah, he donated to my to my program and everything. So I know that's what we, you know. So that's what you know. That's the next. That was the next chapter in my life. Like I said, me coming home and not having a job, or me right. trying to coach in school, and no, in the no summer degree. I'm coach. The summer I'm, I'm with these kids. I'm making them better and all that. And uh, they wound up saying. First day of game, right before the game, they say, yo, you can't even coach. I'm like, why? They like, you ain't got your degree. You gotta you right. can practice these kids, but you gotta go sit up in the uh, you gotta go sit up in the stand. Right. Mm-hmm. You you said, I'm, I'm, I told yourself I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. I, so I, I know like, you, you told know yourself what? that. I left I left two days later and went and went and got my degree. Oh man, congratulations left, on yeah, that. I left yes, two sir. days later. I left two days later and went and I had to I had to go get my degree. You went back down to Arkansas. Went back down to Arkansas, moved back down to Arkansas, moved the family down to Arkansas, and went and got my nice. degree. Nice. Nice. And what you nice. doing now? I, I know uh, you're doing big things. Share so, with your people. So right now, I, uh, I got an uh, independent private school in, in Richmond, Virginia. Shining awesome. Stars Academy. Nice. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, a family, it's a family business where one of my college teammates and his family had a, owned the gym and had a basketball academy. And, you know, once again, it's us, a kid coming from New York and a kid coming from Virginia, meeting up in, 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 in Arkansas and just, like I said, just keeping it, uh, keep the top. I'm going to just fade the sides in the, in, in the back. 
And I stuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I got to get a haircut. You, you better. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so coming down, so you know what I'm saying, where I was trying to start our own program in Arkansas. Right. And yeah. just, you know, just it's hard to sell. I was one, you know, I was one of many getting a chance to go from New York City to Arkansas. You know what I'm saying? So when that happened, I wanted to, you know, they told me they had it going, you know, location wise. I was like, you know what? Let me try Virginia out. So last year, I just came down to Virginia a couple of times and and seek the land out or whatever and seeing what they had going here or whatever. And it was a perfect place for me where we have our own gym, 20,000 square feet. We have a weight room. We have nice. a classroom. So nice. it came above where the COVID year, they had an AU program, which was made of a girl. And they wanted to stay together during the COVID okay. year. So it was like, you know what? Let's, let's try prep school. Nice. And that's what nice. that's what they did. So right now we have a we have a national boys program and a national girls program. Nice. Which nice. Is, Congratulations. We on the rise. Like we have, you know, uh, total we have uh, twenty about twenty eight kids now. Okay. And steadily growing. I have to tap back into my international connects. Uh, right. We have we have eight international kids on the team. Right. I have two three kids from New York City. I have great, a kid, great. Uh, two two kids from the Virginia area, and our girls. Like I said, our girls. When our girls just signed with the University of Richmond, there uh, you go. Another nice. girl awesome. signed, with, signed with UNC Greensboro, UNC nice. uh, Greens. So, and one of our boys, one of my top boys, just got an offer from Wichita State last night. Oh, so, man, oh that's nice. awesome! Great job, great so, job, my brother. Right. We, 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 we working, we working, we working. This, nice. this is what I wanted to do. You know, get these kids prepared. You know, I always wanted to coach. I just didn't know what at what level. Right. So, okay. you know, me getting into it two years ago, coaching with the, you know, legendary team. Shout out to Mo Can Elite. Uh, wanted to go yes. to Kansas City and, 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 and working out with them and, and training some of those guys. Right. Jason Warren, Scott Clark, the Kennedy Chandlers, some of the top point guards that's with them now. One of them right. in the NBA. One of them Tyson, the yeah, Chandler's in the NBA from, from Tennessee. Tyson, from Memphis. Scott Clark's right. at the University of Illinois. And nice. my, my 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 young fella Bryson Warren is uh one of the faces for overtime right now. Okay, so, nice, you know, nice. With, with guys like that, and you know we're we like I said, going back to these schools and, and, and colleges and stuff like that. So it's like you know what, I want to get these kids prepared for college. So that's gotcha. you know, this prep this prep school, and this this was this was big for me. You know, right? Getting these kids prepared. You know, this is what I didn't have. This is what I had, and let them know, you know, helping them with the process. Right, trust in the right. process and helping them with the process. Very important. I, the first so, thing you said was more important than anything, trusting the process. That's what kids uh -huh. don't trust. They want everything to happen right then and now. No, trust the yeah. process. Uh-huh. So with this, you know, getting these kids things that's going on, you know, where, you know, having a chance to, to give my knowledge and being hands-on, you know, I always – you know, when I talk about a hated plan for a coach that didn't play the game, you know, um, you know, wow. stuff like that. How are you going to teach me a game you ain't got no experience at? No experience at. And, I, and overseas, it was great to be overseas, but my first one of my years in overseas, wanted to plan for a coach that did everything out of book. He walked around <laughs> wow. and stuff like that. So he learned plays, he did that. And I'm like, wow. You know, I, Terrible, that was yeah. my most frustrating year because I'm like, I played for the Mousies, the Gary the Caesars. You know the you know been around the, the she ices the, the, yeah. you know, the New York the New York the New York culture you know, yeah right or, or learning you know what I'm saying get to learn from the Mike Boogie the Tip Dog the, the Malloy Naismiths the, you know yeah. the, the guys like that getting to see them on hand right and touch touch these guys right you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, these sure. were, these was my these were my idols or we call them legends but I got to see these guys hand I was hands on with these guys. That's what I like yeah. about 55th Street, man. Because you, like you said, you could be a little kid, you come up there and, and you just put it on the spot. Like, yo, look at these good players out here. I mean, yeah. I'm playing against these type of players. Mm -hmm. Like so me. That, that's how my name, and that's how my name, right? That's how the best kept secret came about. But yes, I was sir. nobody just out there. But constantly putting on game and game and game. And shout out to Duke and Tango was like, we got to get this kid a name. <laughs> I love and that. You know that. that you and know that, that name. Stood with me forever because that's who I was. I was, you know, the se a secret. Yeah. I didn't have the accolades and stuff. I wasn't because they look at you. You walk in the court, they like, oh, shorty. 
Who knows yeah. what he's gonna do? He ain't but but so too. He ain't gonna do but so, so much. So, you know, so was, that whiskey blow. It was, it was crazy. So with this academy, you know, S3 Academy's been great. You know, we came up to New York uh, two weeks ago, and you know, we got okay. to play against some, you know, prestigious high schools. Our girls played against South Shore girls. Nice, uh, nice Atlanta girls. My boys, big shout out to Rose, Coach Rose at Eagles Academy in the Bronx. We played Eagles Academy in the Bronx, and then we played. Nice. Again. You know, my my pick of the number one team in the country is OSL. I'll say we're Lutheran. Right. Big okay. shout out to, to Pete and those guys, Dana Dingo and E. Jones over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they roll it. Good program. Given, nice, you know, given, nice. You know, if you look at my schedule, I'm going to play I'm going to play who's who. You know, you got it. program, yeah. Exactly. And I tell the, I tell the kids that, you know. So, you know, shout out to, you know, Taja Cole, you know, the girls, the girls coach. She's, yes. uh, big shot, you know, big she's shot. one step away from, you know, the WNBA, you know. Wow. Uh, nice. Star, awesome. star, you know, Star Wheels, which is our, you know, our director and our, our owner of the program, which yeah, is, right. you know, these, I'm getting to do a job with, with people that are doing it for the right reasons. You know, not for the so money, for the love. Yeah. Yes. You know, we're not ducking no smoke. Like, we're going up, we're going down to Memphis to play in the big Memphis tournament. We're coming back up to New right. Jersey to play in the AI thing. You know, nice. So we, nice. We, 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 you know, I'm putting them in front of these people that Give they want to be a exposure. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exposure. So, to get an offer you know, to go to school for free. To get an offer. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's, yeah. that's the, and I tell the kids, the I you can never, you, that's how you pay me back. Right. You right. Know, with, get a free right. education. Offers, free education. That's how you pay your mom back. You know what I'm saying? I was, there you, go. you know, I remember yeah. when somebody asked me, how you get into college? And I said, I picked up a basketball and said, this right here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You, you tell yourself, right. Kareem, you, you know what I tell people all the time? Because they, re, they, misunderstand, they misunderstand our culture. Like, when you're good at something, just take advantage of it. We black, as black, we're very athletic. So they always say, you play basketball. That's just a tool to use to get our kids in school and keep them out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. We so know they, the NBA, the NBA yeah. window is this big. We know everybody's yeah, going to go into the NBA. Just how many roadblocks they have for us. That's exactly. Crazy ass SAT class school. Oh my SAT god. SAT test, ACT test. Ridiculous. These standard yeah. tests for us. Like, yeah. nah. Because what yeah. you know, not to say it ain't, you know, a course of college degree. Right? Right. But yes. I know people with, you know, I'm living proof. Like, once again, it's with a college degree. Like it took me to another level, but a college degree ain't not gonna give you translate into the knowledge that you have for the game. Right. right. Big shout out, right. big shout out to Melissa. Big shout out to our you know, one of the girls is on here. She just committed okay. to the University of Richmond. Oh, Melissa, no, so like congratulations, said, little sister. God bless yeah, you. Yeah, so we doing, congratulations. Shout out, Yeah, more yeah, takes yes. the ball, yeah. so, so things like that. Yeah. You know, that's my that's my gift, too. You know what I'm saying? We're getting these kids help. Where yeah. we're not fortunate to be paying for school or we can't go in the piggy bank or, or say mom and dad pay $70,000 for, for our school. Right. Kids. Oh that's yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. no brainer, man. Well, hey, 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 we got the best kept secret in the building, Kareem Reed. Listen, man, we ain't gonna keep you much longer. We know you're very busy. I got a three part question I want you to answer. The first oh, one, just hold like on, quick, listen. It's like quick, it's quick. Like nah, quick. nah, nah. Hold on, it's listen, like no listen bro. Listen, bro. You can stand as long as you want, but I know you're a busy man. So listen, you can answer the questions and stay on. It's up to you, bro. Like I said, we just humbled and we really appreciate all day. Come on, bro. You've been on the live with us for a while. Like I said, man, we really humble and appreciate you, my brother. Ooh, man, I but know. I want to know these questions. I want to know the answer to these questions anyway. What's your most memorable moment uh at Rucker Park for you? Give me your top five best uh street ball point guards and your top five. NBA point guards all time. So let's let's talk about this one. Uh, my most memorable game is probably I probably had two games, uh, three three most memorable games. Right. Okay. One is uh, against Peter Shoes. Uh, I had fifty some points on you know on one of my items. Who? But that day, I couldn't miss nothing. That was one of those days when, you right. know, as a basketball player, the basket was the size Big. of the goddamn tour. Right. You know, right. Then, right, 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 that, right. That right. was one of them. That was one of them. Okay. And 
uh, against Puff and them, Puff Brother team, Joe Smith, all those guys. Right, right. I remember, right? I, I had fifty some points against Joe Smith and them, and hit the buzzer beater. <laughs> right, right, right. And then, a, and then, of course, the New York against CBC America when I had the winning free throws against Baron Davis and them, and I stood on top of the basket and the whole New York. <laughs> Legendary. Those three, those three that, moments in the record for me. That's what we do, baby. That's right. You already know. Legendary. Kareem Reed in the building. Now, Reed, I need your top five street ball point guards of all time. Your top five. Your top five. Your top five. You, you already put yourself in it if you want. And I'm going to give you another one. Because you already said you love Kenny Anderson. So we already know he's up there. Yeah, but he wasn't. He didn't get his. Street his ball. Was, no. Yeah, street in ball. The gym. So when you say okay. street ball. I got uh Mike Boogie. Ooh, Mike Boogie. Ooh, 39th. That's I right. got Mas Master Rob. The Master, I love him. PX Finals. I got uh Ray for Austin. Skip to my little yes, sir. Ed Booger Smith. Shout out to Brooklyn, Booger. You already field. know. Yes, sir. One more, baby. Yourself? And one more. I can't put myself in there, right? Yes, you can. Yeah, if you want to, <laughs> yeah, you, you can. can. You, you better come out. You better put yourself in there. Uh, All right, give me one. Give me one more. You be the honor. You be the honorary mention. Uh, so who I had? I had Master Rob, Booger, Booger, Mike Boogie, Mike Boogie, and Skip, and Skip, and Skip. And I put uh, I put Stephon Marbury in it. Okay. Marbury, I'll that's, that's a tough five. Because you got to remember, he, he was making a hundred million and still playing a fifty-fifth. That's, that's a little bottom. That's a fact. So, so, you got, him. so, you, so that's why you got to put him up there. That's a fact. You are so hey, right hey, about hey, that. Hey, come on, before you get to the other question, yo, how tough how tough was Ed Booger Smith? Sorry, like you had to with him and Rayford, you you get caught watching. It was you know with Sham with, with guys like. With Sham and Bone Collector and Malo, you watch them. You watch Mike Boogie. You watched them. Like you, you watched them instead of guarding them. You got, right. Yeah. So the it game. was like wow. So it was so tough for me to play against these guys or whatever. Because right. I mean, right. you know, and, and, and even playing alongside Rafer, like you know, you'd be like, what is he? You know, you don't know when he's gonna pass the ball. You don't know what's gonna happen. You know, <laughs> right. He swing his hand three, four times, and then punch the ball to you. Right, right, right. Crazy. You know, I love 055th, man. 55th is done. I miss the Rucker so much, man. Hey, 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 listen, you know, man. But, but you you get yeah. dancing dude, you get tied down. Oh. You get <laughs> come on, you you, you yeah. come on, you get black you. mode. Come you on, talk, talk mode. to you get, him. You get speedy. Come on, man. This yes. could go on for we could go on for talk, days. Talk, so that's talk, why I'm telling you, 55th Kevin Cooker, man. So that's Always. Once honor. the blue moon, you'll catch a whack game. Once yeah. the blue moon. So that was that when everybody was like, man, you should have did this, should have did that. Like, I was honored. You know, big shout outs to Rich Klein and, and, and the Showtime family for, for putting yes. me on, being mentioned in that New York City point guard. Yes, I like sir. That. Yes, sir. Because, big shout. You know, that was, man, that was an honor. Like, never in a million years, not being modest or whatever. And I might have, you know, my, my people and all that would have went crazy or whatever. But, man, that was a tough. That was tough. Yeah, listen, that was man. Tough. That that mentioned. yeah, that that was so that tough was because tough. they forgot a lot of people. That's how many New York City guards was so good. But you definitely deserve to be mentioned in that. That's a fact. That was tough. You know, everybody talk about it, like you know, and, and stuff like we're getting here. They didn't even you know. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm grateful for it, but. I got to do my own documentary. I got to do my own story. Like, it's so much. Here you go, baby. How yeah. long have we been saying that? I'm man? telling you, man. Hey, we've been talking about that forever. Like, listen, man, it's too many brothers that they forgot. Yeah, we need to we need to do We need to do a Rucker documentary of, of the like, good, all the point guards that came up just to the Rucker. Like, come on. Like, yeah. And, I, and, I, and when you say big shout out, rest in peace to my, to my bestie, to my backcourt mate. Ali Mo. Come on, man. The Black, Black Widow. Widow. Man, that's family. Rest in peace. Yes. Six, eight point guard. Come what on, are you talking man. about? Yeah. So, you know, All like I said, long. man, this is why New York is the Mecca and why we always will be the right. Mecca. Steve Burke Sr., not even Junior. Hey, hold on. Steve, we have Steve Burke Sr. Yeah. All Father. day. All day. Come on. Come All on. day. All day. Come on. Him yes, like him and, him and Pookie Wilson, they can score the ball all day long. Come Midway on, man. jump shot you. Steve Bird, he, 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 if he was in the NBA now, 
he'll kill him. Mid-range oh, jump shot all oh, day said. long. Come on, I ain't even, you know, like you said, I ain't even mentioned Mel Tinsley. Oh, the oh, views, the views. Views. We love them. Oh, 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 Eric Barkley. Like, Look, for 50-50 to Iowa State, baby. What'd you say? Am I, I'm alive? Yeah. Hey, hey, Kareem, can, hey, Kareem, 50-50 to Iowa State to the NBA. Hey, Kareem, can I give you a quick, quick story, right? The park, for some reason, wasn't as crowded. Uh, what's your man that went to North Carolina? He had, like, the, 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 the horseshoe tattoo on his arm. Was it Shimon Williams? Yes. Yeah, yeah yo man, listen. Jamal, I seen Jamal. the abuse that Jamal Tinley put a move on Shamon Williams. <laughs> yo, he dribbled between his legs, threw it around Shamon Williams' back. It came between Shamon Williams' leg. He got it, hit him with the jump shot. I said, "You can't be serious." And he was always smooth with his shit too. Man. That's what Come I'm on, saying. Man. Smooth. That's what I'm saying. Look, when he do a spin move, it's like he laying on your back. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Spin off your back yeah. right. <laughs> oh man, I love the rock. Yeah, so it, it could be any time you walk in that park and they yes. you know what I'm saying? You got you got your hands full. Yes. It's a game. Yes. It wasn't no, like I said, it wasn't no street by games or I'm gonna go get 30. Nah, know, never. Man. Never. Because you, you stepped on that floor on 50 you had to be ready to play because you're gonna get embarrassed. Yeah, you're gonna get embarrassed. You will get embarrassed. I don't care who you is, you come up there cool, your ass will get embarrassed. No, for real. So, uh, let me ask you a question. With the AU circuit now, you see how in your era when y'all all played against each other, um, in today, is that's what missing? Is that's what is missing a little bit with the younger generation? Instead of I wanting mean, to team up, it's hard because now it's you know money involved. Yeah, sponsorships involved. Sponsorships uh, involved. The, the Nike is the biggest, you know, big right. brand. Like the big machine. These, you know, I'm I got on the leggings right now. That's EYBL. Like you know, right, kids right. Want, these kids just want the gear. You know what I'm saying? And I was, <laughs> look, the kids just want the gear. Yeah, but yeah. I yeah. was reading a po a podcast. I was listening to a podcast, and that's what he said. Like people scream to say, "Oh, my son played on the circuit." No, your son played on a circuit team. Is he playing? Right. Like, you know, some kids are sitting on the bench. You're the 12th man on one of these big teams where you could be at somewhere else playing and get seen. All the, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's right. That's, that's real important. It's just like you, you know, said, picking the, right. like pick the college. Just like picking the college, just like you said. Yeah. Go, to, go to anywhere, you know what I'm saying? But it's these kids wanting, you know, it's it's the EYBL. It's the three-stripe Adidas, you know, that's the Under Armour. Right. But right, right. where I've been going into Minnesink and going to watch Ali Mo play against Rafer in a rain out in 55th. Right. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jerry, Jerry Tonkanian coming to the game right. to watch Ali Mo play. God bless his dad. Right. Because you know what? Because they couldn't find him on the circuit because he's not on the circuit, but he's on the 150 50. Well, we call 150 50. Forget the yeah, circuit. On That's how it yeah. goes. Uh -huh. I always say this. Not because you always say, if our kids, because you know we run the basketball thing, if we stop going to those big universities and go to these HUB schools, they'll be coming to the HUB schools to see our kids. You know big what I'm saying? Shout Chris, big shout out to Chris Paul and his movement where, you know, now they even got a day where they just doing those, those black schools on ESPN. Oh, wow. Shout we out. do? Uh, Good. Yeah. Hampton and Nolan is rolling right yeah. now. Oh, there you go. The, on the black school last, last week in Atlanta, he had uh, Virginia Union, he had the black school colleges. Nice, yeah. You know, so, Norfolk State, remember this year, Norfolk State played in 55th in the nice. Mars tournament. Yeah, they did. Schools You're like right. Howard and Norfolk nice. State yeah. and, or stuff like that. It's all like this is, it's starting to be, like you said. So, if my you know, kids go to our black schools, these, these big universities will be in trouble. Or, the machine know, not, will be in not, the. You know, and, and that, you know, something that, you know, I guess. Kate, uh, Kyrie mentioned like two years ago, yeah. starting his own league. You know what I'm saying? Where, yeah, right. You know stuff like that. Where we, we in it? It's yeah, us and we us run, us and your, we run it. We run it. We run it. We run it. We run the NBA, brother. We run the NBA. So if we ain't playing in the NBA. You know they always they they, they play like pubs, like the ABA. You know they made everybody come to the NBA. The ABA had great players, but you know. Things have changed. It's a, diff it's a different era, man. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Like they said, Dion, 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 making it cool to go. Yeah, to, to a black State. school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Prime time. Prime time. Got those kids going to this black. But, they, school. but what right. they're doing is they, but they hiring now. They hiring 
all the black schools are doing it. Mo Mo Williams, they hiring yeah, you know, facts. black black coaches. Yeah. Reggie Pierce at uh at uh where he at now? He's at uh Beth Bethune Cookman. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. So they, they yeah. hiring these black coaches to do staff. And right. Give us a chance. They give us a chance. Right. Right. Nice. You know, right. so that'd be, you know, that'd be, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? So I always talk about that where schools like that, you know. Because yeah. if you check, where, if you check the history of the of the older guys, they all came from black schools, man. The old NBA right, players, yeah. they wasn't no big white schools. Yeah, they wasn't there. Yeah. They was at the little yeah, black yeah, schools. Eddie George, yeah, I was about to say Eddie, Eddie George, George is out there. Man. Yeah, yeah. But you know what, Kareem Reed, like I said, the best kept secret in the building. You're doing something so important because you're giving the kids you're working with, you got the experience and, and also the knowledge, and also you're a good dude, so you're gonna show them the right way of how to do it. And um, more brothers like you come along, man. Like I said, as the years come, as the years is coming, man, a lot of things is gonna start changing for the better, man. And uh, it's yeah, gonna yeah, start man. with brothers like you. That's a fact. Man, that's what I try to get at. You know, and it's just once again, it's trying to get everybody, you know, on the same page and. And stuff like that. What what what's the real reason we doing it? To give our kids yes. opportunity. Give our kids opportunity. The ball stopped bouncing for me, but you know, giving these kids opportunity, like my legacy could be carried on. You know, and that's the give back. It's the give back time. Give back. It's like somebody gave to you. Now you gotta give back mm -hmm. to them. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 why, I'm hope, that's why I'm hoping that they uh expand the NBA and get a team in Vegas and Seattle because. That can be 30 to 40, maybe 100 more brothers getting jobs. That's for sure. With coaching, players, trainers, just assistant coaches, all that. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. With those jobs, it's more people. And these kids will be ready. You know what I'm saying? That's what my program is all about. And they get these kids ready. Like, we, you know, typically that my school is, they they get there any time between 7.30 and 8.30. They get a they get a full meal breakfast. So you start the day off like that, you know, with breakfast. Right. Nice. Breakfast, school, breakfast or whatever. Then we start class. After class, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like a typical school where we break the day up. We don't have school up. Right. 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 We break, right. The, we break, the, we break the school up into parts. And then what and then, then it's so good about me is three steps out of the classroom, you in the gym. So Perfect. I could pull, oh, you know, you're not doing your work or you're doing your work or you're ahead in your work. Come on, let's get some individual training in. Right. So my right. guys, my guys are getting 1,500, 2,000 shots up every day. Great. That's what great. Counts. Yes, sir. Before, That's before where it we starts. Even, before we even practice. Nice. You know, I want to yeah. pull you out of class and watch film of the game or, you know, do some film work. We do that in the middle of the day. Right. You know yes, sir. So it's like that. We, we, we nutrition. You know, getting their body, putting the right stuff in their body. That's number know, one. Stuff like that. Uh, first day after school, we weighing, we weighing them, and we, we giving target weight. So we nice. running like a college. You know, they get, they get, uh, you know, they get, they get equipment where they need the ice, ice baths. You know, right. and stuff like that. Recovery. Right. We doing it all. Like what, what a college, a, a typical D one is gonna do. Atmosphere. We try to put you in that. Right. Nice. We, we, nice. Sim we simulate. We simulate. We simulate that. You know, going on the road and, and, and bringing out. You know, we we try to get our work done. So when we get on the road, it's all about basketball. Nice. You know, exactly. When, nice. We're these, when we're on these trips, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're about all, school. Work school is already taken know, care. Of. Taken care. Of, like I said, right. it's already taken care. Of. And we holding. Yeah. You know, we holding them today. We holding them to it. Because like I told you once again, is me. Who else better to tell a story? Or to go through it, then somebody that's somebody been through it. Like, that's that's a, right. a big fact. A big that's fact. Right. Real quick, uh, they want to know what they want to know one one more time. What's the name of the organization? Okay, Shining Stars Academy. S three Academy. And, and Shining Shining Stars Academy. S three Academy. Also, man, yes. Academy. Follow the page. S three S three Panthers. Yes. Follow it. Follow the page. S three Panthers. We have a tremendous boys and girls program, man. We we from sixth grade to twelfth grade. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. S three, S three Panthers. Follow S3 the page. S three Panthers. S three Panthers. S S at S three. Yeah. At S three. Yeah. There's some good things going. Like I said, we uh still looking for some more kids. Like I said, like help change their life in any kind of way, man. I mean, right. look us up. Reach out to us. 
follow our page. Like I said, uh, get with my guys. Y'all know y'all get with me. Y'all got a first hand. Like I said, yes, what? sir. Yes, sir. Thank in Virginia. Thanks for this platform, man. I mean, thank you, brother. Yes, thank you, man. Sharing. Thank you. Sharing is like caring, baby. I you wish bet. we could have did this in studio. We could do part two. I need to be. I need to be in studio with y'all. Hey, hey, listen. When listen, you come to the city, baby, you come to the city. Listen, I'll be up right for Christmas. We're gonna do a Christmas. Ain't no session, more. We, we right around the corner session. from the block. We on 144, right around the corner. Uh, in the hood, scream, baby. Don't scream out the location. Don't scream out the nah, location. Nah, got you, <laughs> got you, got you. Listen, <laughs> listen, no, got listen, you. Listen. Before we get you out of here, give me a top five point guards all time. All time. All time. Top uh, five point guards. Kenny Anderson. Okay. Uh, Rod Strickland. Okay. New York. Right. Okay. God Sham God. New York. Let's go. Right. Let's I go. love it. I love it. Baron Davis. BD. Yes, love him. Uh, the last one. The last one. The last one is crazy. The last one is, to me is, you know, <laughs> point guard to me. When you talk about the point guard, right? And I'm mad, and and I, I and what what I'm getting more knowledge on him, Nate Tiny Archibald. There you go. Right? Let, the, let the leader score in and assist. Come on, man. You know we know one thing, one thing I want to do is salute, man. And I never really, I heard his guy name or whatever. Really never got enough to see him or whatever. But Pearl Washington, man, they oh, said man. Pearl. Shout I never, Pearl. I never, I I knew about him, but even the documentary didn't do the service that it did to right. Pearl. Well, best said. kept secret. I'm gonna tell you this much: on 145th Street, Pearl was such a killer. He had his own theme song, "Pac Man, Look Out." I was like, "Who the hell is this, Pac Man?" Pearl yeah. coming down, boogie, you look out. Yeah, Ask about Pearl. I, I, my, I asked him, like I said, I, yeah, I said, I hear so, like I said, I was sitting there on the New York Point Guards of May. Like, I keep watching again because <laughs> right. what he did. What he did and what, Syracuse? And what, you know, Syracuse and stuff like that. And when the Big East was the big, you know, he made the Big East. They said, yes, he so, did. Yes, he nice. did. You know, so, playing like you was know, on 55th Street, right? He played like he was in the park man, all day so, long. So it's always New York for me, man. You know, wherever always. I go, I wear, I wear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been different cities, states, countries, but New York will always be home for, to me, you know what I'm saying? Because That's right. Uh, you know, yes, big sir. shout that's, out to, you know, the guy yeah, that's, yeah. you know, that, that's doing it now, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. holding on to it now. And it's, you know, got to see some of those guys and stuff like that where, you know, it, it's going to be, New York is going to be back. New York is back. Yeah, we bouncing back, man. We that's, bouncing okay. back. That's what our platform is for. They said, I said, man, we give our, our flowers to our New York City players before we go to any other state. We got to serve our New York City state first. <laughs> guys like you and it's a thousand other guys. And we don't, you know, and everybody say we don't do it. You know, that's what we got away from that, that you know, that the essence. Right. You know, it, back in the days, it was, I feel like it was not talked about as much. But we got away from that, showing love to New York. Yeah, guys, more yeah, legends, man, showing so love to all your legends. That's right. Legends, I want them all on the you know, show. To the legends, shout out to the legends, man. That yes, paved the way yes, for yes. me. Myself, You're one of them. For my counterparts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, yes, you know that this saved a lot of our lives, man. So this basketball for me is 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 something else. Like it took life changing from life changing. This is that's what we yes. call it, life changing. Yes, sir. So yes, I wanna sir. Salute, salute your podcast, man. Thank you, brother, Thank you for coming good, on, man. Y'all got a good thing going on there, man. And whenever I'm like, one phone call away, whenever y'all you know, need me. To oh, get you back, back on, in December, baby. Uh, you know I'm, that. I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Thank yes. you yes. so much, man. Yeah, shout out to Greg. Yeah, shout out to Greg Marius. Rest in peace. Shout out to Greg you Myers, know. man, for keeping um entertainment, uh, man. Took it to the next Gus, level, man. Gus and all of them, and, and, and shout out this year for me going into the EBC. Uh, Hall of Fame. Oh, shout, right out, now. shout out, man. Congratulations, Congratulations, Congratulations man. Yeah. That's big. Zig oh, you know, in the building. Shout out to Zig. Zig, man. He was Zig yeah. in the building, man. Yeah. Man, me and Zig had some times, man. Me and Zig took the dice game in Phoenix. <laughs> we took it by hostage. I love y'all. <laughs> That's the hall of y'all, man. man. He said we took it by yeah. hostage. That's right. We took it by hostage. Me and Zig was down to $10. We put that thing <laughs> in the bank and took that thing to the top. <laughs> I love y'all. See, that's all them talk there, baby. So we do in New York City, baby. That's New York talk right that's here. Right. We was we was two 
We were two broke young kids. Next day, we were at the mall going to Banana Republic. You know, we didn't know nothing Crazy. <laughs> Polo boots and all that. Me and Zen, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. 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 I'm here, man. Yeah. Salute, man. Salute again, yes. man. I'm here. I'm always Thank tuned you, man. in, man, to, y- to whoever y'all have on there, man. Yes. yes. Uh, Appreciate you, brother. It's an honor, man. It's an honor. Yes. Yes. And yes. best kept, any, anything you ever need from us, bro, however we can support, just let us know. We a DM, a button away, my That's brother. Right. We really, Post it, whatever I can't, you can say. I can't say this enough. Support your Thank program. Thank you, man. All jokes aside, because we watched you, bro. Yes. And um, I, I we like. fans, and we, we respect you like crazy. And we really appreciate you coming on the platform and showing love, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thanks for going through this with me, man. Thanks for doing oh, the journey with that me. That was a pleasure, man. Yes. Yes, sir, yes, yo, sir. man. Happy holidays to you and your family. You family, too, man. Happy holidays. You, you know what? this. Yes. Speak to you soon, man. New York. New York. Hold them in the building. Best kept secret, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My brother. New York. Let's in the building. Best kept secrets, y'all. That was awesome, man. Hell yeah. I had a great time just now. Hey, man. We about to get out of here. Shout out to my man, Dr. Downey. Let's shout out. Uncle White, we got a shout out. The best kept secret. Shout out the best kept secret, man. Listen, me and Uncle Ice's new model, we don't do paperwork. I told him. Listen. We raw, man. We don't do paperwork. I told you. Our, listen, our notes is experience. So you got to do is Big shout out to, listen, I want to say again, big shout out. Hold on, boss. Listen, I keep going. Everybody. Listen, when boss man want to come on, he comes on. Pause. Well, no matter who is here. The boss Listen, Obama good. could be on live. Obama, I got to hit you back. Boss man got to go boss man. That's a fact. That's right. Hey, boss man, you know what, Obama? Man? No Let's... matter who on the live, you come on the live. Oh, man, I appreciate you guys, man. That was fantastic, man. Great interview, man. The knowledge and stuff he put upon people and the things he's trying to do for kids and all that, man. Yes. That yes. was beautiful, man. And what I'm amazed by, he didn't really know nothing about Pearl Washington, man. Listen, I hey, he's a big fan of Pearl. That, you know, yeah. Pearl's a legend, man. Pearl's Brooklyn, a legend. you know, he's the first person when before when Syracuse was open, they was getting nobody. No, they was getting like two thousand fans in there. When they got Pearl Washington, the place Hold on, was Hold on. Hey, yes. Zach, hold on. Hey, hey, Zach, that's my, this is family from Shot town This is our OG. This is the boss man. Just to let what's, up? What's, up? what's up? What's up? What's up, Zach? Oh, it's good. Boss man, after you done, Zach got a mall, you said a Mulberry Chicago story for us, huh? Yeah. All right, yeah. Go ahead, I want to hear man. that, man. All right, you want to yes, hear that? Yes, but um, I want to hear boss that. Man. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, all right, so go ahead. All right, so you know, 95, no internet, no right. social media. I just graduated eighth grade. I'll never forget. Uh, this is probably the second golden era of Chicago summer basketball. Okay. Because prior in the 80s, you had like Aguirre, Terry Cummins, Tim Hardaway, Isaiah, Jordan out there playing as a rookie. But this era, this is the Antoine Walker, Michael Finley, okay. Juan Howard, even – so on this day – Mark Aguirre even played this day. He had been retired for four years. Gave Dickie mm. Simpkins 54. Wow. Then the next game was Randy Brown versus Tim Hardaway. Wow. I think Randy had like 60. Tim had like 70. <laughs> so this is all one day. So wow. Nightcap. I come in the gym, and um, I'm with this lady. She's a legend in Chicago um, as far as ball handling. She was like, they go to the number one player in the nation. And again, this is not internet. So I don't know who she's talking about. I was like, who? Right. She's like Stephon Marbury. <laughs> He's from New York. Why don't you go over there and see if you get his autograph? So I went over there, took my shoe off. I had like Glenn Robinson on there. I had a bunch of autographs. He signed my shoe. Right. Now, what makes this so crazy, guess who his teammate was in that game? You were ne- I'm going to I'm gonna give y'all two guesses. His team played in. I'll give you a hint. He, he played in Chicago, but he's not really from Chicago. Michael Jordan. Nope. He played high school ball in Chicago, but he's not really from Chicago. High school ball. Damn, who? Who? Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett. Wow. Yeah. Right. He from, right. That was he's his teammate, bro. So, like, fast forward. Black Friday, he was in his freshman year at Georgia Tech. 
KG going into his rookie year, who knew in just two years they would be teammates? Like, who knew that? Wow. Right, I mean, right. A 12, 13 year old getting to see this. So, shout out to, um, <laughs> is it Game Over Podcast? Or game, yeah, yeah. Eight day a game. Game, game, game. game Podcast. He had on Kiwan Garris from mm-hmm. Chicago that played at Illinois <laughs> back in the day. And Kiwan told the story. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep wow. it a buck. He told the story where he made himself look good. Okay, that Steph was, was not his ass. true. Oh, Steph was killing his ass. Steph was killing him so bad. Steph. They fouled Steph out in like the third quarter. It was either third or fourth quarter. They fouled him out. Wow. He fouled mm-hmm. out of the game. I couldn't believe him. Steph was but he was his doing ass. the. Bro, he was doing like this. I've never seen it before. He was doing the walk it up the court between his legs, walking it real long. Yeah, yeah, long, that's long, long. Yeah, that's his shit. And like, and that's then his like shit. He had the explosion when he explodes yes. past you. He dropping it to KG. KG dunking, yelling. Wow. Like, this They're going like, crazy. Man, rookie, man, the gym was going crazy. The only thing, though, the game that he in there now at a uh, game podcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I rep my city, but Kiwan was front, bro. Like, <laughs> like destroying him. They fouled him out. But they had to cut the game short because of the condensation on the court, bro. So it we got too sweaty. Right, right. It got too sweaty. I and mean, it was a classic right. game. They was going back wow. and forth. Yeah, that's the point. But you heard what the other, you heard the kid, you heard um, you heard what Kareem Reed said, right? He said, man, Stephon was, a, he said he was professional at 11. Bro, I never again, said eleven I'm historian. I'm I'm in eighth grade. I understood it at that age what I, I ain't gonna lie, boss man. Like I he wanted Steph a few people I've seen in Persia. I I thought he was a grown man when I seen him. He was thirteen years old. That's when I seen him. The first time I seen him he was thirteen. Yeah, he wasn't even playing. He was at the wheelchair classic person. game when I seen Ed Davender. Um I seen Lars Pickman break Ed Davender. There's only down. one other person I've seen in person that I could compare body wise to Steph at that age, and I was Derrick Rose. Those we are the seen, two guys that I've seen in person where I was we like, seen him. this is different. This is Neil, different. Boss, man, you didn't come to that game. We seen Which Derrick one? Rose, when Derrick Rose played against Rice yeah, at the Garden. Yeah, we seen that. that. No, I didn't go to that game. At the Derrick Rose had those 26, 28. He still did his thing. They lost. The thing about that is, Derrick Rose's high school team wasn't good. Like, he, he, guys, he was. Them guys, none of them guys went on to play any college basketball at all. Like, <laughs> none of those him. guys. That's yeah. him. That's how good he was. And they won, yes, he was. I think at least two state championships. And this is back when Illinois had two classes. Now it's a little, little softer. They got four classes. But back then, you right. had the small schools <laughs> and the big, big school. schools. Like now, Simeon is a big school, but they play at like 3A. So not hating on certain guys, but that's why like Jabari was able to win. Jabari Parker win four straight state titles. Because he's playing against nobody. Against the Right, right. And they marked him right there. Era. That's why he got the – he looked at Shaggy at Duke and in the NBA. Hey, man. Let me and that's say why crazy. I tell people – I respect you. What's your name? Zach, the best Zach, best I best Zach. Zach, I love you, Zach. Zach, I love you. I respect New York. We got to have a conversation, though. Yes, we do, the baby. The reason why y'all the mecca is not fair because y'all just so much bigger than us. But in all seriousness, Chicago land area up against any city, bro. Like, especially yeah, my era in the, in the 90s, being able to see Dwayne Wade, Eddie Curry, Quinn Richardson. I mean, it, it yo, was yo, yo, yo. Corey, Corey McGetty. Y'all, did, y'all, did, y'all, y'all people out there in Chicago did Eddie Curry wrong, though, baby. You know, you got the Eddie Carey wrong. Hold on, hold on. But that's all. Hey, Zach, we're going to have you on a podcast. Yeah, we got to go home. Hold on. New, New York versus Chicago. Listen, Zach. Yeah, Paul Zach. Yeah. Man, we're going to win. No, huh? no, wait, wait, wait. Let me yeah. say this. Who's going to win? No, I'm just being real. Y'all going to no, win. Listen. Y'all too big. Y'all got five. No, no, real. no. Uh, but Zach, but listen. Real. No, but listen. When I Listen, Zach. But when I say, I like you, Zach. Hold on. When I say New York versus Chicago, it's, not a, ba- it's not a battle. It's, it's just us scary. giving our cities the props they deserve and also right. giving the history and the knowledge because a lot of people don't really know some of the guys that didn't make it, but they was just as great as the guys that did make it. In Chicago, we used them on my show. And I always told you, listen, man, people really need to follow Zach, follow his podcast on YouTube and on Instagram. The brother, his informal, his information, his history, his knowledge of the game is crazy. Yeah, nah, I rock with you, bro. Yeah, Zach, we rock with you, bro. Hey, I'm glad y'all allowed me to tell that story. Uh, Yeah, uh, I like it. Y'all hear that because that 
who knew on that day, man, that I would get to see Stephon Marbury? I'll never he get Kevin that. Kevin Garnett like and then they went in the NBA to play together. And they awesome. went on to play each other two years ago, awesome. man. Unbelievable. They should have stayed together. Hey, Bossman, how do you feel? What's going on in your mind? Talk man, let me tell you something, man. I had a chance to see Steph Marbury come to Riverbank State Park, man, high school. The gymnasium was packed. He did them in. Destroyed <laughs> everybody. Playing with Lincoln High School. Destroyed them, man. I had a chance to see a lot of guards come through there. I had a chance to see um, Sam God. God bless him. His mother passed away, man. Yeah, yes. yeah. And God, um, him. God bless he him. came My to mom. Riverbank playing yeah, against Rice goodness. High School. Him and Ron Artest, they destroyed Rice. <laughs> Broke that press like it wasn't nothing. Broke it down. <laughs> Like it wasn't nothing. No jump shots, layups. And Ron Artest was a man back then. Always. Yes. Killing people. True warrior. Always was a grown man. The warrior, man. So, you know, True these warrior. stories go on and on about many, many stories about high school basketball players, college ball players, Chi Town and New York and all that. And it's a pleasure hearing that story from you about Sam Gard and all these guys, man. But this, this, that's why this is so important for us to hear, to do things like this, man. What you guys are doing, yes. is, you know, talking about basketball like this, man. It's, it's therapy for all of us, man. And and hope yes. to, hopefully these kids can learn something from this, man. So kudos to all of you guys, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, boss, because man. Because we don't, Fine. we don't get that, boss, man. We don't. I, I was telling my wife this today, man. You know, if you're an '80s baby like me, born in '81, and you guys. A little bit older than me, but we were kind of like the last of a lot of stuff. Yeah. So like a lot of these street ball stories, a lot like the, it just don't exist no more. Like I had Corey, I had, hom I had homicide on my podcast. Shout out to Legend. Corey. We set it up Legend. when he was in Australia. Man, he was real gracious with his time. We we was a day apart or something. I think he a day ahead of us. It was weird, right. but uh, he was like, you it's over it with, man. It's over with like that that time so for us to share these stories and keep the the history going man like again like Priceless. I had when I had Jamal Crawford on he was in the middle of the projects in Chicago hooping I love like him. that's like giving it up like right that's those, what you're supposed those, to be doing baby them them times you just not gonna you're not gonna see that anymore man a lot of that you know, the culture unfortunately is dead so we gotta keep these stories alive man we we do man because it's a lot of guys that's why I'm really protective of the game. You know, I know it's entertainment and we laugh, but when some of these players say certain things about certain players, they don't understand they're hurting their legacy with the casuals. Like, right. you don't understand the casuals don't – they're not going to see it the same way. So when you're talking about certain players, you got to be careful, man, because you're treading on legacy and history. And if we don't respect the history, then what do we have? I mean, right. Listen to yeah. how passionate we all are. Like, those yeah. moments were incredible moments. My only regret is, and me and my guy, because I got to play pro ball with D.A., with Daniel Artest, is that I never came to Rucker to play or New York. I, that was my biggest regret. That's one of the only cities, for whatever reason, I just didn't get to touch, especially during that time, bro. So, shout out to y'all and y'all platform, man. I always type Thank that you, bro. when I can, man, because yeah, I love tap it to yours, history, man. bro. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, yes, man. Like I said, um, you know, we, like I said, me and Uncle Ice, we created this platform because, you know, people that know us know, and we make jokes. We don't need notes, man. Our, our experience, our notes is we was there from the age I can remember up until today. And like I said, we was the guys on our block, 127th Street, walking to 155th Street, crates in our hands. It's 100 degrees outside. That walk seems so short. So it's 7 o'clock and it's 2, 3 o'clock. And we on that line yo, for 3, 4 hours. That walk was fun, though. That's the fun Right. Shit. So, you know, people... Really you walk back, too. Right. And we walk back. <laughs> you walk back. Train yeah. station right there. You can catch the cab. You know what happens right when money. we walk back? When we get to the neighborhood, the whole block is asking us how the game was. And yeah. we out there for a couple more hours explaining what went down. And yeah. you know what happened? The next day, we got five more people rolling with us because <laughs> they want to see... The experience we just went through, right. and we did that. Y'all was going yeah, all day. Y'all was doing niggas. You know? was on fire. So yeah, man. I hold the block down. Very passionate, but listen, a lot is going to cut off, boss <laughs> man. You have the last word, my brother. Let me tell you something, man. Going to Fifty Fifth Street. Yeah, remember he's going to Hundred Sixteenth Street too. Watch games downtown. Pro was playing down there. 
Egg Pickney wow. was playing down there, man. Yeah, wow. yeah. You know, yeah the uh, Kingdom. Egg was playing down there, man. They was playing down there. Yeah. And you go on 55th Street. So have these, these courts right in front of us, miles away, man, walking distance. It was it was wonderful, man. You go yeah. south when you go north. The white basketball. Yes. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you can walk uptown, you can walk downtown. Which way we're we going to the Kingdom today. We're walking down the port. Exactly. <laughs> so, yep. That's how it goes. It was a lot of fun, man. And, and it kept us together. That's what kept us so close in the neighborhood because yeah. like you got to put the sand to, I mean all ball, we would walk together, man. Yes. And come back and tell these stories, man, about yes. this. Yes. You know, give kids something to, to live for. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to my yes. block, man. I always say, yes. people yes. get mad. I always say that my block is different. My block is different. It is. It's nice to put Sandy Mysterious. It is, man. I always tell the kids on my block, man, appreciate our block. Our block is different, brother. Hey, man. Shout out, boss, man. Shout out, my guy, Zach. I need to follow him. Shout out, Chicago. Appreciate y'all. Yes, all, sir. All Uncle Ray's. Big shout out to Kareem Reed, the best kept Shout out to the best kept Shout out to the best kept Some of these shout guys out. ain't going to stay on ESPN for an hour. He was on with us for an hour and a half. Yeah. A lot yeah, is man. cutting off. Hey, man, we respect and love and appreciate everybody. Hey, Zach, I'm going to hit you in the DM. Boss. Everybody, man. Boss, man. Love you. Good. Good to meet Tomorrow. you, Zach. God bless you. Yes.